This is really the fighter and the kid. Come on, baby. This is the most. Ex this is the most surprising thing about Skankfest. You ready for it? And I think you might have that. You showed thing. up. Well, no, no, no. I definitely was going <laughs> to show up. I was even though I got stuck on a plane. Just so, so I, people don't know though. Before you start, me, let's. So with Skankfest, a lot of people were like, "Oh, they're going to cancel or something like that." Brian's flying out of New York because he had a show Thursday night in New York. New York has torrential downpour. Oh, I mean, like flash, I, flash, Shane Gillis flash, couldn't flash. get out. Yeah, and when you uh, you know you always sometimes you lie about being late and you're like, hey dude, I might not make it. All I'm the like, time. oh hell no. So yeah. I figured you were lying. You had to send a video. I'm sending you and Luis Gomez video. Of the engine died on the, the plane. The engine died on the plane. I, I got on one. I had to buy three tickets. Anyway. I text Brian. I go, dude, if you don't come, this is going to look so bad on us. You have got to get I her. get there. Any of you start running. I run I run on stage Originally, the show was supposed to be at 8. You get there at 10 o'clock. Yeah. And we're supposed to go live at 10. They switch it to 10. So then we, and then we hit the stage at 10.20. Yeah. It was I'm, I'm going to say this about the Skankfest fans and the Skankfest thing. You walk into the belly of the beast, and you can tell me, you can you can counter this if you want. The nicest group of people and the and comedy fans just there to laugh and support. I was there all day, dude. Like and, I, you got there late. Did you have I, any I was negative at, interaction I got there at, at all? I got there at one o'clock, and I was just doing spots. At z I mean zero. Yeah. Zero. Just great people. And obviously, I was scared to go in there just because people are mean. You don't know. I brought Jay. We weren't selling merch. <laughs> no. Nope. So Jay was there just in case things popped off. So I had somebody have my back. I didn't know if I was going to get stabbed, shanked, shot. The, we didn't need any of that. Everybody's they were great. great. Everybody's great. What 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 Lewis J. Gomez built and those boys at Legion Skank? Nuts. But they're also Nuts. good. Like when we had them on stage, I, I was like, oh, I can just sit back and let... Dave Smith and Lewis and and yeah, because remember that's all they Big do. J. They do live podcasts every week. <sighs> so good. They're they're monsters. Really it was really so good. much fun. It was great. It was great. And it's different than any other comedy festival because most of them are like really networky and corporate and like Netflix is there, Comedy Central. Yeah, so everyone's is, a little uptight. This was all comics and just a dope hang. It was run ran really great. You did well on that uh, comedy on the spot. Where you, were, you had to improv? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah that was, was fun. Good. With you, Jeremiah? You and, you and Jeremiah Yeah, that was great. fun. That was a good time. Yeah, it was just but, cool just getting up, doing a bunch of spots, and then, then you go to the green room and just the hang like we used to do back in the day. Yep, yep. It was just such a good energy. Everyone was dope. Everyone was great. It's such a It was crazy. Man, it was crazy, man. Man, they come out. Man, they come out in droves. Those boys built something special. I'm so glad I went. I'm they really so did. glad I they went. Did, they did build something special. Those are great comedy fans. At the end of the day, that that's the kind of fans that you want. They're there, and anything goes. They're just they're just they're open to whatever you want to give them. And then we so the podcast we did with Legion of Skanks, the live podcast. The it might come out. I, th I would assume it comes out on the the Legion of uh, Skanks network. And then, but they're sending us the file too. So we'll release it as a regular episode on this audio and video as usual. And I'm sure they're going to do their thing. But that everyone will be able to see that. Yep, it was so much fun. Where you punched Lewis? Again, th th I don't want any of this. I don't want you, you and Lewis. They're always like, man, you should see Brad I'm twist always, this guy's I'm head off. I'm always egging you on. Yeah, Lewis figured out. He's like, oh, that's why you get so much hate. You don't brag. He bragged for you. Uh -huh. like, yeah, dude. Yeah, I push yeah. things. I push things. A yeah, bit. I like to. I like to stir the old hornet's nest up. Yeah, but you, you don't know. get stung. Just I do. <laughs> yeah. Oops, that must sting. Put some stuff on it. And Lewis was like, "Punch me as hard as you can." And he's wearing this like silk shirt, and I was like, "I don't want to do this, dude." But I can't give him just a, some, you know. So yeah. I have to. So I punch him. I hit him hard, but because his shirt was so slippery, it ricochets off his bicep and hit him. hits him right in the tit. And he goes, "Ow, <laughs> ow!" <laughs> I was like, "I'm sorry, dude. You're in silk, bud." I, I, it's you know when you look at Dave Smith and Big J, what what I this is what was so interesting. And I realize I've been in LA for too long. They're just smoking, probably Marlboro Reds. They're like guys, guys, guys. I know I haven't Shut seen up. a cigarette. For, and when they're well, doing just, it, I, in my head I'm like, oh, they're naughty. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In my, when I was like, oh, we're smoking, ooh, they're naughty. Ooh. Yeah, I was like, you guys eat gluten. You don't eat blueberries and salmon for breakfast. I probably talked to Dave the most, and I like to talk to him about politics because I love his podcast. Um, but then he wants to talk to me about fighting. Yeah. So it was like I'd ask him about all the like the debates. He'd ask me about fighting. It was like this back and back and forth. forth. Yeah. Nice symbiotic relationship. Yeah. Then and then Annie Letterman, people think me and her hate each other. We, and what's funny, and you know, I'm sure it was by design, is my first set. It went me then her, and I have to bring her on. 
So, you know, I'm sure it's by design. And I think they thought there was friction there. But little do they know, me and Annie spoke months ago at the comedy store. It's all good. Yeah, she apologized. You know, it was, it was, it was just, and I, you know, I don't care. So it's she posted, good. she goes, can we take a picture? I'm like, yeah. And then she was like, all right, I'm going to post it. I'll talk to you about the caption. So then right before I'm leaving my last set, she goes, I got the caption. Uh, squash fest. We're squashing the beef. I'm like, you're a genius. Let's That's do great. it. Squash so she fest. posts it. <laughs> I put my comment on there. I go, hey, I want to invite you and your boyfriend. I got a new truck if you want to go for a ride. <laughs> Hashtag drug walk. <laughs> That's good, dude. Because her and boyfriend, her boyfriend was awesome. Uh huh. Her boyfriend, me and her boyfriend got a timeshare now in Mexico. Me and that dude hit it off so well because really? he has lizards and fish. He does. And you know me, I'm ball deep in lizards and he fish. He has lizards so, and fish. So I'm telling him we have kids. No, he oh, has lizards amazing. and fish. That's so impressive. me and him. We're like, I was like, this way you should get your roaches, your dubia roaches, the crickets. We're talking about the, the smell of crickets, how much we oh, feed them. Oh, inside or shit. Oh, dude, deep inside baseball lizard talk. Yeah, inside. And I was like, I keep talk. mine outside for the natural sun and all, and they're getting big. And you got bearded dragons, yeah? Yeah, three of them. They're getting my my son's bearded dragon died. Did or did you give him away? No, no, he died. He passed. He passed away. How does a bearded dragon die that early? I've never heard him die. He was a big boy. He was, like a we, he was a breeder, apparently. They had been using him as a breeder. As, as a stud. Yeah. And so he was older. I, I didn't know. I haven't heard of this. <laughs> I didn't know. And then. Uh, so did you guys buy him originally big? Yeah. That's amateur, dude. Is it? Yeah. You, yeah. What's the you fun in small, that? huh? Yeah, dude. And then. because no, he, he was a big old can, fat belly. They get so fat? He had a fat belly, like a, like a pot belly pig, but a lizard. My, and ate the fuck out of worms and crickets and everything you put in there yeah as they get older <clears throat> as they get older they need lettuce oh lettuce their their diet should be 80 percent lettuce 20 percent. so part of his death could have been his his part of his death could have been the too much protein oh is that what it is could have been guys too much protein but shout out to skank fest louis gomez live. dave smith big j we love What's you guys up, i'll always do it how you guys. doing Nice to meet you. Nice yeah. to meet you. What's going on, brother? How you doing? Good to see you, man. Everything good? Yeah, yeah, really I good. I feel like we almost hugged there. I, we can hug if you want. Bring it in. Bring it in. Hugs, hugs. There it is. How are we doing? I like hugs. I like I that like energy. The shoes. Thank you, thank you. I like you. You got a wide toe box on you right I, there, and that's what I'm talking uh, they're about. They're like those barefoot, like zero whatever yeah to help your feet well they're in case you got to climb a wall yeah or in case you got to or if you got to run from a ghost that too you There's never know that. you never know i, was, I watched your show last night bud oh cool right on i'm a big i'm a big ghost guy ah, okay. that's my stuff All right. i love i'd love to go on a ghost hunt well, he's looking at me you want to go let's go yeah i don't <laughs> and did you start out doing so just so people if you're not aware he has a show on introduce just him. max introduce him just max. introduce it's him, jack max. osborne everyone Hi. if you don't know who that is you're living under a rock live yeah, we live? No, we're not live. Bring your chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, no, no, we're not live. Okay, no, we're not live. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, that'd be weird. No, we can edit anything. You want. <laughs> yeah, whatever. That's just good to know, you know, in case I just yeah, live's always dicey. Yeah, in case I lose my mind and just start like blotting out crazy shit. But exactly. I, I watched the show on uh, Max. Not it's not HBO Max, just Max. I watched yeah. it last night with you and your mom. Where the, you've always been into like the ghosts? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was always like I was a big X Files kid. I loved that show, so I was like. I always enjoyed reading and researching about paranormal, unexplained UFOs, you know, all that jargon. And, right. And then in 2011, I got asked to do this other paranormal show, and it kind of pumped me into the world. You know what's funny about your accent is you're so caught between America and like yeah, the pick North a lane, England. dude. I don't belong so anywhere. You're you almost sound like, Australian. You sound like you're from. Yeah. sounds like from uh, from Manchester up there. Is that where you're? No, I'm, I'm originally. Oh, I'm I was born Manchester in London, but I grew up in in like the London equivalent of Calabasas. Really? Yeah, in a little suburb called Buckingham. Well, but your dad grew up where? He, he grew is, up in Birmingham. Yeah, so it's like Midlands. Yeah, Birmingham. Yeah, it's got, yeah. The, it's got that, it's like that that sort of um, yeah. yeah strong. <laughs> That's great. Right? That's, yeah, that's good. I'm very talented. That's that's good. Good. You can tell. Good. Yeah, thanks so much. <laughs> but when you start doing these, sh when so you that's got appropriation. I'm really yeah, really is. By that. <laughs> so you, but, so you, as a kid, you got into the aliens and the paranormal, and then I'm always interested because I'm into it, and like I'll go, like I'll do, I'll go to like the Manson murder stuff like that. Yeah. But once you start using devices, it's a, just a different level. Yeah, and like the devices, uh, I always say it's. It's very fringe. Like, let's be real. Like, these aren't... An astrophysicist didn't create this device. It's right. It's very theoretical. It's very like, hey, let's see if this might work. It deals with EMF frequencies, so let's see what happens. Yeah. And I, and I always have taken it with a grain of salt. 
Like I, I've always gone into the ghost ghost hunts being like with the mindset of this is probably just people freaking themselves out in a you, scary you, old house. I'm going to give you a compliment. You seem like you take everything with a grain of salt. I try. Yeah, but see, <laughs> you grew just up. Just met him, yeah. No, I know. I've, I've, I've watched him. I know. You, you grew up with a very famous family. Yeah. And it's very easy to kind of get sucked in a very strange Hollywood vortex. Oh, yeah. Well, that's probably why it he's makes, like that. His dad's seen it all. Yeah. Well, but, but, but it's really hard to avoid when you're a kid. You see a lot of, it doesn't work out that well for a lot. Let's no. be honest, for a lot of Hollywood kids. Yeah. And you somehow have. Just kind of. Yes. What, 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 what was it. the, uh, what's the magic sauce for that? I don't, yeah. You know, I, I think it came from two things. It was, I, I got sober when I was very young. I got mm. sober when I was 17. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, I went pro really young. I was young. gonna say, that's a good you thing. You turned pro when? Like, you're still 12? growing. When <laughs> you're, when I you're still pro growing. Like, yeah. Did you turn pro at 10? Uh, I, was about, I was about 15 when I really ramped it up. When it just, when it went. 15? Yeah, when it went past just, you know, the odd beer and, you know, a joint here and there. You're like, yeah. it's 7 a.m. and I'm hammered. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. oh, your parents to... were busy as shit. They, they were, were. And they we were... were doing the Osbournes. And so I, I was getting paid an awful lot of money to sit home. Do, and just be yourself. And do crazy things. Wait, how old were you when the Osbournes hit? 15. Uh, it, Boom. Was I, it was 2000. And Thanks, MTV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, was, I turned 16 while we were filming the well, first season. All of a sudden, season. you're famous. Yeah. You know, that show was massive. Yes. It was a different time. You know, there was Completely less, different there was less, less outlets. Yeah. yeah, it was like one of the first that followed but, like but your family you had, and your yeah. dad was, in, and then you have this whole cast, it's you, your sister, your mom. It was, like, it was just like blew up, dude. It was a weird time. I was into but it. But you were close <laughs> as a family. Yeah. That's a, that's a big part of it. Like I, I think sometimes absentee, everybody scatters, but you were, you guys were a real unit, I, I feel like. Yeah, we and we still are really close. We started doing the podcast with each other recently and it's it's great. It's, it's all, we've always been close. We've all, often shot off and gone different places for a while but you know we're pretty tight-knit so 17 you get sober so you have yeah. a two-year run yeah it was hard though dude i hit it hard <laughs> yeah that's impressive a lot of oxycontin a lot of whiskey is that right Did you have fun oh, yeah. though uh i had some really good times i'm not gonna lie <laughs> those two years those two fun? years are and, lit, and, it was, and it was also a great like stretch in la at the time let's be real yeah. like two like 2000 to 2000 and well i got sober in 2003 but yeah nobody's oh that's a great stretch. no internet yeah. no yeah. real internet no. No. social media was just getting started yeah, like so friends to came out oh. just then and you can still get away with shit oh yeah there was no yeah. camera phones just myspace yeah fuck no camera phones you know think about that we live right now like everything you do you're being watched yeah everything you, you make one mistake it goes viral one mistake. yeah one mistake yeah camera phones don't forget they don't people no. might but camera phones don't. Yeah, people don't i yeah. knew somebody very super famous who said they moved to new york because every time she would go out they would catch her they would try to catch her when she was scratching her nose, so it looked like she was picking her nose. Anything like that, anything weird. So yeah. she moved to New like, York. She started getting crazy. She would dress it. Yeah, New York, you can be way more anonymous, way more. Because you're on the street, you're in, you don't. If she was that worried about paparazzi, go to Montana. No, 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 yeah, New York, exactly. New York, no, no, New York. She's like, I'm so close. sick of people and cameras, man. I'm headed to Manhattan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but back then, New York, New York wasn't even close to, to to LA. Not even close as far as paparazzi and stuff like that. I don't know why, but it just wasn't. You could be anonymous. You still can be. Yeah. You can just kind of walk the streets, but. Okay. That's yeah. wild. Well, anyway, grain of salt. Shout out to her. Back to grain of salt. Yeah. And back to your show. Yeah. So you take it all with a grain of salt. I, but his I, mom's on in the show too. Yeah, she just did the she did this one episode. Oh, she just did the one? Just did the one, yeah. Um It gets pretty crazy it, with your mom. It was weird, dude. That was some and weird. And that's, that's real, dude. Because I was I, I was on Zach Baggins Ghost Adventures. Yeah. And going in, I you know, like you, I was like, oh, I don't know, man. Dude, I real thing I don't I was terrified. Mm. And so when I saw your mom, if you watch it, his mom goes through some shit. And my girl's like, you think this is real? I'm like, I don't know, but I'm into it. Oh, this or, is you on this is you on a little ghost adventure. I was terrified. Just a shaved head. Damn. I was absolutely. I've always been to the ghost. How, stuff. Oh, my this was a while ago. You did it. Yeah, that was probably 2014. Before okay. he, before he got his nose broken, uh, or maybe it was after. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Um, but either way, like I, I came into it and like I don't know, but get again, I it. Maybe it's just because you're around like-minded people. I was like, it seemed all real. Everyone's like, was it fake? I'm like, dude, 
it's as as real as you make it. I yeah. was terrified. So when I saw your mom, that's some I'm like, I'm telling you, man. Weird. I can't. She's not that good of an actor. I can't explain it. I can't. It's the weirdest thing I, we talk about in the episode. So just to fill you in, we were doing this investigation, that, and we did an experiment with my mom where we put some like noise canceling headphones that are on a blindfold. We just had to sit in a room by herself with the camera guy, and she lost consciousness. She her head just goes back, and she's out. She she was passed out for 20 minutes she stopped breathing at one point what? yeah did you get a medic yeah he was asking for a medic yeah and you guys were where somewhere in california yeah we were in a, a place uh just up not far from me like an hour and a half away in uh what was it santa santa paula the demon was santa like, pedro? I'll take her soul. santa yeah. pedro santa pedro no, Sa santa paula it's a near um it's near uh oh hi it was like a, a, a spanish, hotel. spanish for ghost it was like a hotel up there yeah it's uh santa paula. yeah there you go yeah, there was a yeah, just a little hotel. The Glen Tavern Inn, right Glen there. Tavern, it was on the map. It. You were on it, Chin. It was right there. It's the pink, yeah, uh, the pink Glen bed. Tavern Inn. How interesting. Yeah, Glen Tavern Inn. It looks what, scary. What got you to do this show? What was it about this? It was pure curiosity. I, I like I said, I grew up watching the X Files. I was excited about just some, someone called me. It was like, you want to go do a ghost show? And I did one season of it. And the paranormal world is really a tough world to crack. Yeah. Like, it's not something that... A lot of that, people with a lot of opinions. Yes, totally. Purists. Yep. Yeah, and uh, so they liked the way I investigated. The fans did, and it kind of ingratiated me into the world. And since then, I've just been making a lot of paranormal shows. Because you're more cynical? I think because I don't... We have a lot of fun. Like, we, there's a lot of yeah. laughing on the shows that I make. And I think it comes across that we're not... You know, we're not going to reinvent the wheel here yeah. it's we're looking for ghosts and the only way and as i say the only way you're ever going to prove if a ghost is real or not it's if the government can make a weapon out of it right. or if someone can make a billion dollars out of it First other of all, than the, that the, the, there's no money in it this is awesome haunted homecoming the two you just kind of like yeah that was uh i filmed that in england the that irony on your face is fantastic yeah. Keep it, like, keep it light. We're here. we're here to do an investigation, Jack Osborne. And, <laughs> and that was the on uh, HBO Max. That was the first episode, and then the other ones. They're all well because of the Warner Brother Discovery travel. Channel. You know, you know, melting of of things. It's all it's on Travel Channel, Discovery Plus, and HBO Max. Jesus, yeah, it's not a bad thing. No, they just like and then where like else? Gun. Where else do you guys go? Uh, we went to this place called. Um, Oh yeah, there's my mom passed out. Look at her. Wait, that's crazy. Yeah, it's Look at nuts. Her neck. Oh, dude, she went out. She's it's either the best actress of all time, or I can tell. She stopped breathing, man. I had to give her like full on, you know, rescue breaths to get her going again. That's it was, insane. It was no joke, and Did we and we very much tamed it down because the full twenty minutes is really disturbing. Yeah. And I was like, I don't really... Well, your mom was dead. Yeah, I was like, that's like my mom dying. I don't really want to put that on... And what did your mom say? Your mom was just like, I don't no know. No memory. No memory of it. She woke up in the ambulance and that was... Still think it's fake, you fuck? Hey, man, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm scared yeah, I, Dude, I would pay a ghost hard, cold, cold cash to, scare <laughs> to me? take you there and knock you out like they did his I, mom. It's, ghosts don't scare me. I want, I want the he most doesn't believe. He doesn't place. believe in it. It's kind of boring. I want the most haunted place. I want to sleep alone there. Like this. This can be arranged. Really? <laughs> this can absolutely be arranged. Talking, between him and Zach right Baggins, yeah, yeah. We, I know some guys who yeah. can help you out here, man. Bring it. I want the most haunted Oh, I love it. And, and we'll make like a scary there. thing out of it. We'll kidnap you, yeah. like hog tie you. Yes. Hog tie me. <laughs> Just hold. I'm not that flexible. <laughs> hey, guys. My back is starting to hurt. <laughs> help. Help. You know what, man? Um, hold on. Can we take a break, B? You want to take a break? Yeah, can we take a little break? Because okay. I am famished. You're famished? Dude, I just had black coffee. I, You know what I wish I had? Wait, well, hold on. I, I, I bet I know. Dude, I need a gallon of macadamia milk. Well, I'm going to tell you this. I'm on the road a lot. And, you know, for example, I've, I'll be in Greensboro, North Carolina this weekend. True. At the Comedy Zone. And I want my coffee. Now, here's the thing. I don't like just putting any old milk in there. No. I'm not a big dairy guy anymore. No, Brandon, we're not understand? babies. But I do like omega-7 fatty acids in my coffee. Okay. I like a buttery, milky flavor. And no added sugars, oils, stabilizers. Yeah, and I want, and I, but I don't want it to be dairy. And I want it to be made out of one ingredient. And do you want basically. a gallon of it? I'd love 10 gallons, but no. I mean, one, one a gallon. I can, I'll give you one gallon. gallon. But I, a, a gallon... Are you talking about macadamia milk? Yes, dude. Because a Silky. gallon of macadamia milk would probably cost, and I'm because you'd have to milk a lot of macadamias, and they're hard to milk. So you have five, to squeeze six them million hard. bucks. Probably about six million dollars. 
It's as silky as angel feathers, and it is macadamia milk, and it's angel a Angel feathers are very silky. They're so silky, dude. Go to houseofmacadamias.com slash T-F-A-K. Just add the milk to your cart with any products you use with the code T-F-A-K, and you get a gallon free of gallon. macadamia milk. Free gallon. Okay, so you can add their chocolate covered macadamia nuts. You can add the. So it's environmentally friendly, by the way, because it comes as macadamia milk paste with the water at home. So no water transportation. Yeah, you got to mix country. it. You, you got to mix it. Transport you got to do a little water. work. Yeah, because if there's an accident, the water goes splashed. Yes. All other people are like, my what the water. You know? I got slimed. It's houseofmacadamias.com slash TFAK. Ah, my mouth is watering. So you guys kicked off with that one, which yeah. is insane. Yeah, it just and then came out swinging. And then we, uh, we do an episode with Jason Muse and Jamie Kennedy. Um, Jenny McCarthy and then my sister jumped in for two. That's cool. Who is the like? I feel like it's your mom who's the engine who who kind of like masterminds a lot of this. Yeah. When you were younger, she's let's your do Bill a, Belichick. Let's do a thing about our sh our family. Mm -hmm. Sure. She, she, she it yes and no. It it kind of started because before we did the Osbournes, um, you know, MTV was. It, my dad wasn't super mainstream, so they never would play his music. They right. would never like play an Aussie, you know, anything. And they would come to OzFest every now and then and do a, you know, MTV news piece. But um, my sister and I, one day, we were at home and MTV were doing an episode of Cribs. And my dad was like, fuck MTV. They're not coming into my house. They never show my videos. Why am I going to do an episode of Cribs? And he locked himself into his office. Time so MTV's move. at the door Good and move. filming Cribs at the height of Cribs. And my mom goes to me and my sister. I'm in my room. I'm doing homework. She's like, hey, you need to come downstairs and you need to give Cribs the tour of the house. <laughs> so we were like, okay, cool. I'm going to be on MTV. I was, I was like 13 or 14. So we did this episode. It, my dad eventually comes out of the room. He's being a curmudgeon. And everyone thought it was funny. It was the most requested MTV Cribs episode at the time. Hilarious. They used to have people write in to play it again. Oh, my God. So we... Uh, is that it? That might be it. Uh, classic. The the down and down one more. There. That was that was it. I think. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah that you is guys it. are super yeah. young. Yeah. Amazing. So MTV turns around and because it was so requested, they went, "Hey, let's meet with you. Let's meet with the family because we think you should do something." Here. Yeah, we should do something together. And they mentioned something about oh, maybe Kelly and Jack does VJ work. So we all sat, we met with the execs, and after like a long dinner, we landed at, let's just do our own version of the real world. Hmm. And that was it. And did you, where'd you grow up though? I grew up between London and LA. Right. So we, by the time we finally settled here, it was the third time I moved here. And MTV's, were, MTV Cribs was shot where? That episode was shot at a house in, in that we used to live in in the mean streets of Beverly Hills. <laughs> and then, yeah, super hoodie. And yeah, then the, it's rough around there. It's dude. rough, it's rough around especially there now. Reputationally, <laughs> <laughs> you've got to keep up with everything. Yeah, you do. You know, I got to you know I mean? forget where I'm what's from. With that, you know? What's with that car from 2019, you loser, you <laughs> pauper? And the, and the reality show was filmed same area? It, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it had been wild, your dad being freaking Aussie, man. You can't. Was he around a lot? Yes and no. Like he was, he he, he was touring constantly. So uh, I would go and spend summers on the road, and anytime he was somewhere recording an album, would go there. Because back in like the '90s, you could do, you know, visa runs, and if you spent three months here, three months there, three, you didn't have yeah. to pay taxes anywhere. So he did that a little bit. He always felt like the rock star that was super accessible, though, in a yeah. weird way. Like, always, like, um, I saw him, I went to, I was at the doctor's, and he was looking for an allergist or something like that. I don't know, he had glasses on. But the way he was asking for directions. Yeah, do you, do you know what I'm looking for? Um, where, do you know where <laughs> room 113 is? I can't find it. Over there. And the guy, the woman goes, it's over there. And he was just so down there. He's fucking not aware that he's Ozzy Osbourne. He was going, okay, thanks a lot. Yeah, I, mean, when I yeah. walked over there as he's talking. But there's something about him that's just, he's not trying to put on airs. He's, he's, he's just so, trying yeah. to super, the allergist. He's just, that's he didn't give it. a fuck about what you thought about him. He's like, he's I gotta get super lovable. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what, what it is. is. He's that's also a pain is. in the ass sometimes. Of course. <laughs> yeah, you don't man. become a star like that yeah, without exactly. being a pain They're in the ass. They're called rock stars for no yeah, reason. Oh, <laughs> You'll be a little bit of a diva. Well, he's been, he's been relevant, successful for about maybe 50 years. Yeah. Let me tell you. That's that engine is not an accident. That's a dude who figures shit out no matter where you put him. Yeah. Like 
okay, I'm not going to be relevant musically right now from MTV. Watch this. I'm going to lock myself in the room and then come out at the right time. He just knows what the fuck he But exactly. also, be thinking how wild he was, too. Oh, yeah. And just still, I mean, that wild Do you, you know the story about him with the record executives where he, didn't he bite the head off of a fucking dove, a dove right there in the meeting? He went, yeah. Mm. My, so my dad was a, he was a favor, essentially, with getting signed. And before it was Sony Music, it was CBS Records. So my grandfather was a, a big record kind of tycoon, mobstery dude, my mom's father. Oh, no shit. And so he called in a favor to get my dad signed. It was like a nothing thing. And to try and impress the record label, because he had such a shitty reputation, my mom goes, hey, we've got a meeting with CBS Records. Come in and like release some white doves and, you know, as like a... I don't. I it, it's it was the eighties. There was a lot of theatrics. They're just trying to get. Some, yeah, go, get he some. had a he had a bad reputation already. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They, <laughs> he like walking the minutes off. <laughs> shut. No, it was in his pocket. So he released. <laughs> <laughs> He's all. <laughs> That's literally what happened. He he released this dub and he he was wasted and he sits down on this executive's lap. Wasted. The the. the <laughs> The dove lands on her on the table or something in front of him, and he picks it up and just bites its head off. <laughs> and were they like, "Can you imagine today? What were they, you fucking? How dare you?" It's like, "Oh, you, uh, they, they it, 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 there was a mini version of it. They escorted him from the building. He was was not allowed back in for like years." <laughs> But then his album did really well, and so they were like, "Okay, you can come back now." <laughs> Classic Hollywood. Well, yeah. I was gonna say, you, you know, they—he was talented. I mean, yeah. his voice. Oh, yeah. I mean, you got yeah. You got He might have been a pain in the ass, but he had something. Oh to yeah, say. no, he's yeah, he's he's definitely. But it, yeah. it has to be cool because I'm sure when you do press or you're doing interviews, everyone asks you about your dad. It has to be cool. You have like your own lane, your own shit sure. going on. Yeah, you know, I yeah, I, I when I was younger, I used to always be like, well, "What about people that ask about my thing?" And I'm like. No, I think it's cool. Like my dad's awesome. He's uh, had an amazing career and story. Like I he's don't, an icon. You strike. You are strikingly sensible. You have. <laughs> I swear to God, I dude, won't get over Jack, it. You have <laughs> the energy of a goddamn therapist. Or you know, because I've had a shit ton of therapy. You, you, I don't know if that's true. You have, to, have you? I yeah. feel like you don't need. Have you? I feel like his dad's Ozzy Osbourne. <laughs> I feel like he's he a doctor. sober at seventeen. No. Like, you know, a doctor sits down and goes. You like went this. to therapy, you've been on MTV since you were thirteen. <laughs> yes. I feel like you're. The, you you have the energy of a doctor who goes. So tell me what's going on. You got any questions? Yeah. So tell me what's going on. Yeah. Got any questions? Sounds like you need some therapy. I need some therapy. Yeah. If I do, I'm going to call Jack. How does it make you feel? Yeah. I like your energy. Thank you. You're very calm. We can hold hands. <laughs> Thank you. You almost hugged me. So that was, that was yeah. immediately. I liked your your uh, your yeah. energy. Well, you're friends with Andy Stump, so I you know. I'm friends with Andy. You got You know. You kind of. If you're friends with Stump, you know. It means he's yeah, he's a great guy. He's, how do you know Andy? Uh, we met. Uh, I wish you'd say Navy SEAL. Well, I was in SEAL. Yeah, I was in, I was in, I was in the team. <laughs> no, I wish you was like me and Andy's a big ghost guy. We met on Grinder, actually. <laughs> we met on Grinder. yes. Yeah. No, I met Stump at, um, we did this, uh, the SIG Hunter Games like a year ago. And then I went to the Origin Emerging Camp over the summer. And we were like in the next bunkhouse. And yeah, but yeah, he's a good dude. Andy, I was trying to set up a thing where me and a comic or me and somebody where you wouldn't work, you're too big and strong. But I think you and I should get fight him and another navy seal in a airsoft war game i think that would be amazing i i do too and and it should be every time we get hit we have to take off an article of clothing <laughs> this is my buddy kevin max idea i think it's and, great and it'd be so funny but he, he when i told him that he was like he sounds I, like a plan for you to get naked dude well, exactly that's the idea <laughs> yeah. i would get a, i would get sounds a text gay. from him every like every week on when do, when do I get to fucking kill you and a friend? <laughs> yeah, they would light you guys up. Oh my up. god, taking on him and like Mike Lover to do. Oh it. yeah, it would be three episodes. That's who, long. That's who my team was. It'd be a three episode series. Just when I did after this, three, you're like, yeah, yeah. This was your what? When I did the Hunter Games, it was me, Mike Glover, and Stump. Oh, and Glover, oh, wow. yeah, yeah. Jesus, yeah, yeah, it was fun. Dark motherfuckers. Yeah, man. no, it was it was interesting. Like we would because you'd have to like walk miles to different shooting stages. And they would be talking about, oh, yeah, this one time I killed a car full of guys with a javelin rocket. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And we're yeah, just like are. hiking up a hill. And yeah. I'm like, oh. Yeah. yeah. And I'm there's like, video of that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I said, yeah, they both have a satchel at, the, at home with just a bunch of souls. Yeah. 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 You know? Like, I remember when, when Mike Lever tells a story of, uh, he was actually on, he did it on a podcast too, but when they were, the, the psychologist sort of talks to him, he goes, how many dead bodies have you seen? And uh, Glover goes, what do you mean? And he goes, how many dead bodies have you seen? He said, hundreds yeah and the guy and the guy writes down he goes well that's doubtful and he goes what do you mean it's doubtful he goes 
He said, I said, Did I've he realize what he does? He didn't. They don't know. So they don't, you don't know that you're in the unit. Like if you're Delta or if you're these special dudes, they don't, that, that doesn't go on your thing. They just think you are like in the Green Berets, whatever you might be, but they don't. It's very rare that those kind of guys, but that, that's the kind of shit he did where he was yeah. uh, up close and personal to oh, a lot yeah. of stuff. Talks about it. Hundreds. Doubtful. And then they found out. Then he went and found out because there was, uh, I guess, they blot out stuff. Yeah. And they went, okay, we're dealing with something very different. They're like, so we're going to move you into this room? And yeah. <laughs> there we're going like, to see Jack Osborne. He's a, he's a <laughs> bit of a therapist. There was uh, like, I'm underqualified for this job. Yes. Yeah. He's like, I just got out of uh, med school, so... Uh, yeah, he's uh, like, so yeah. this is not... You've had a shit ton of therapy. Me? Uh, yeah, a decent amount. Yeah. St do you, did you watch that documentary, Stutz? Um, I watched a bit of it. Yeah. Yeah. I love that. I, I thought that was really cool. Yeah. I haven't done much therapy, and I need it, but I, that's the guy I wish I had gone to from, from, a, from day one. If you need a good therapist, I have a great few yeah. I could recommend to you. Yeah. yeah. You probably, yeah, you probably have your black belt in therapy at this point. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not, I'm, I don't go that. I do, I do, I treat it as like a tune up. Yeah. Like I'm not like in there. Yeah. Just yeah. like, Hey, I want to just, just vomit a bunch of complaints onto your lap real quick. Mm. Can you help me just dissect them and then, and then, then send me on yeah. my way? Yeah. I can always tell people that get, do a lot of therapy cause they'll use similar words. Oh yeah. 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 You know, I go, feel statements. Yeah. And you're like, oh, wow, you're really, wow, you're really grown. And you're like, oh, no, you're just regurgitating. You were seeing therapist. therapist for a while, weren't you? Yeah. Do you still? Uh, no. Maintenance. By maintenance, I mean once every <laughs> seven years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's like going to the dentist. <laughs> oh, hey, uh, I, I, no, 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 no. The dentist looked at his teeth and the dentist was like, well, this is a disaster, right? <laughs> we have a disaster on our hands. He's like, he's like, good. I'll never be back, and we'll see you later. <laughs> yeah, they still he still checks in. Does he? Jesus. He'll text like, hey, me like, "Hey man, you still coming in?" I'm like, "Dude, you're relentless." He's a great dentist. Yeah, John Shavs. Yeah, mm -hmm. Portland Hills. Uh, so your your podcast is what? You, uh, so I I have the Osborne's podcast, and then I have one called Ghosts and Grit that's coming out in like a like a month, it's less a, than a month. And and so the Osborne's just you and the family. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's we have dope. we have guests come in when my if someone's out, we'll have someone sub in for them. But that's cool. Yeah. Yeah, we just kind of talk a bunch of nonsense. Did you want to do any acting? Did you ever? I was in an episode of That 70s Show and Dawson's Creek. There you go. Big yeah. deal. Big deal. Big deal. Guys, I don't, I don't know Creek if you really uh, are know, aware of the caliber. Bow down, Cal. I am. No, and a lot of waiting Creek. around. A lot of waiting around on the set. Huh? A lot of waiting around. Yeah, a lot of craft services. Not quite no, as fun. Yeah, look at that guy right there. Oh wow, there dude. Is. Yeah, you've blossomed. Look at you. Yeah, little cutie pie with that full head of hair. Yeah, as I like to say, talk I don't have the... a six pack, but I got a sweet hairline. <laughs> Fuck yeah, <laughs> you really do, dude. Dude, talk about the glow up, man. Yeah, hell yeah. You look way better, man. Not that you look bad there. I was, uh, you know, it was teenage years, you know, they were rough. There was a lot of alcohol, too. There was there. So that's huh? like bloat. Callan, one up them because you were on Seventh Heaven. I sure oh, was. That, I sure since was. Dawson Creek, Seventh Heaven. Two yeah. years. Don't wow. kid yourself. Wow. You were, yeah. were, you, were, you, a, were you a character or reoccur were you a I recurring played a, regular? I, played a, I was a recurring, re uh, reoccurring guy, and I played uh, an alcoholic. There I am. There oh. I am. Cute. Cute. Um, that was, now I'm bloated, but um, I, I played... Uh, <laughs> The, the the description and I'm not kidding. They said they're looking for an alcoholic who's also a coward, and uh, and <laughs> wow. I, was, I was given that role. Was <laughs> they wrote it for role. you. Just got out of jail. They're like you're dad, perfect for this. Bad dad, all that, and I played a very emotional role. I had to. You're cry. like say no more. Yes. <laughs> do, and on your pod, do you guys talk about because I, I met you through jujitsu. You're, yes. You're, yeah. Your yeah. kiddos were going to the same jujitsu yep. place. Oh. So yeah. do you talk about the kiddos yeah. on the pod? Yeah. Yeah. We go. Yeah. Kids. How many kids? I have four. You do? Yeah. You fertile motherfucker. I know. I know. <laughs> Still married? Uh, I just got remarried, actually, like oh. two, three, two weeks ago, three weeks ago. Really? Yeah. Four children. How old? Uh, 11, not, uh, 11, 8, 5, and 1. Wow. You're in the thick of it. I am. The best, though. It's great. All Nothing girls, better. too. It's just all, girls. Fuck, all girls. All girls. All girls. That's why, I'm, that's why I was like, guy, girls, go to jujitsu so like you can yeah. beat guys up. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. 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 And learn. Yeah. My, son's, my son's yeah. obsessed with jujitsu. Well, hard to get him involved in much else. You know, yeah. he was always. And then he found jujitsu. How old is he? He's, just, he's 12. Oh, cool. But he found jujitsu and he's obsessed. It's yeah. really, I'm just loving it. Well, I don't care what it is. Is your is your boy still going? Still going, yeah. Is he still going to the same? No, different school, yeah. Different school now, but he goes to another one. Cool. And then, you, then your your sister has kiddos too. She, he, yeah, she has one. Yeah, she had a boy uh, about eleven months. He's nearly one. Yeah, mm. he's a cute little guy. 
And how, how's your pops as a grandpa? He's good. You know, he's kind of like, he hey, what's wild? going on? No, he's kind of chill. You know, he's like, hey, what's going on? And just kind of pops them off. Yeah. yeah. You know, he's, you know, gives them a little my, cuddle. My father's that way. My father, with little kids, it's like, hey, back to the book, you know? Yeah, exactly. Whereas the older kids, but he'll sit in one chair in the corner and he's just like, there he is. That's, hey, hey, hey. That's okay. exactly. That's going to be doing an impression of my dad. Yep. And then we're done with that. <laughs> but then when you turn... 19 he's all about you yeah if you can talk and converse really from 14 the 14 to the, the but then grandmas are opposite like out. like, oh, yeah. like my opposite. my mom my my stepmom my mother-in-law like my mother-in-law play trucks with them for an hour or oh, yeah. my dad like uh, absolutely not mm. do you know that they've done so women apparently when they look at a baby's face or a toddler's face produce endorphins that men don't so when they see a face like that, it makes them feel good all day long. They can just spend all my. I think my, I got a trickle of that. I bet you do. Yeah, my, I am too with my son, but my my do- my mother can just sit there with that baby. I'm like that with every. Kid. And and she yeah. she has to reiterate what he does, and it's I'm like, eh, it's not that interesting. You know, he picked up the truck and he knew what it was, and he knew that it had a. I'm like, oh, oh my dad will be like, hey, Tiger wants to uh, go <laughs> back in. The, well, he wants to go swimming. I'll, I'll go with him. I'm like, well, okay. And I just assumed, you know, I didn't drown, so you know, shit. <laughs> I look back there; he's just playing like solitary while my kids in the pool. Oh yeah, oh, hundred percent. I go, Dad, yeah. the fuck are you yeah, doing? Yeah. He's in the water. No, he's no. like, I know, you got some. I'm like, no, dude, get out, no, get out of here. No. I'll take it from here. Get out of here. That's kind of like how I am as a dad, though. I'm like, they're fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My, uh, I'm a helicopter dad. Oh, you are. Yeah, I, it's mm. so bad, so mm. bad. Yeah, my, uh, I guess I'm a little bit more like you in that sense you have but you have one or two i have i have three children okay three so, different baby mamas no 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 no, wow. two, no two different babies <laughs> okay so Same. two kids wow. one my, my ex-wife a 15 12 year old okay 15 year old daughter two boys one girl and uh yeah when your daughters turn teenagers they're gonna have no time for you I yeah mean, maybe you but not me it's um, a stranger to her <laughs> it's uh it's 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 starting with my 11 year old because i guess like now they start going into like puberty way younger oh yeah which is terrifying and everyone just ignores you're like wait a second does no one else think there's no one think this is weird that it's like 11 year olds starting their periods where when i was younger it was like 16 Thanks, i wrote a, I wrote a whole yeah. I wrote a, yeah i wrote a whole <laughs> i wrote a whole bit on how my interaction with my 15 year old daughter is like the nerd and she's the prom queen where I'm like, hey, how you doing? You want you want to you want to have dinner? And oh, you're busy. Oh, okay, cool. I got. And then I saw Tina Fey do it, and she 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 wrote the same bit. I saw That's her. That's really tough like, to beat. Fuck, That's man, it was so beat. good. Yeah. And Tina I was like, I wrote the good. same bit. And uh, so I can't do it. But anyway, but that's how I feel with her. I'm always like the the nerd who's trying to get just a minute with her. I feel like girls are harder. I mean, I have my, I have my first daughter coming December 15th. Oh, nice. Congrats. Yeah. She, now she's going to have three bodyguards with me, her two brothers. Yeah. So she should be all set on that end. But I'm, I'm more... I have more anxiety about a girl being a girl dad. Boys, I'm like, I'll figure. Boys, I yeah. got The girl, I'm like, I have no clue. I have no it's, clue. Uh, they like to cuddle, which is great. Love that. I love a good cuddle. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm a snuggle monster. Yeah, I'm in. Like, it's, it's yes. great. Oh, I've got four of them. So one of them, if one of them doesn't want anything to do with me, at least one will be like, oh, you don't like her right now? I'll come yeah, nuzzle in oh, on that's you. That's so good. Yeah, yeah, let's are talk they all shit different? My daughter never was that way with me. Totally she, different. Never, but that's okay. Uh, they're all different. Totally different. Yeah. My eldest is like my my buddy. She comes with me everywhere. She's like a full hippie nerd, pescatarian. Really? really? Lo- doesn't loves video are you, games. Are you loves a animal. No. <laughs> but she just met a baby cow once and swore off eating. I get it. My daughter, same thing. My daughter's a vegetarian. Okay. Drives me nuts, frankly. Yeah. Well, I mean, that was my deal. She's like, I don't, I don't want to eat meat. I was like, it's too difficult to make vegetarian meals. Just eat fish, and we can. It's a compromise. Oh, she was in sensible motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Therapy. Therapy. Yeah. No, no intelligence. Yeah, we're not turning. You have a nat- resting intelligence. Yeah, we're not going to turn our household into crossroads. You know, <laughs> restaurant. Oh, oh, it's a beast. The full vegan it's like menus. Dude, no, it's I can't do it. No, hell no. It's, yeah, I'm worried because my boys are like boys, boy, like they they wrestle nonstop. Somebody's getting hurt. They're, they're constantly fighting. Too. Yeah, the monsters. So I'm like this little girl's in for. Her. Uh, I mean, she better have her shit together. She didn't have cauliflower ears at three. <laughs> you know? Like it's just a nightmare. 
Yeah, they both have your genetics. I mean, they're monsters. Yeah, yeah. just big and strong. Yeah, and just like, like bam, bam, just running into got, each other. Like, traps in a neck. And like, I mean, like you know the triangle <laughs> neck. Power snatches. Yeah, literally, it looks like he does. You're like, oh my god. A seven. Yeah, I mean, this morning before school, we were playing Mortal Kombat. Yeah, he how like knows how the much fatalities he at now. Seven is he one forty? I don't know. Uh, whatever he's you benching one forty. Yeah, he's oh. benching one forty. Yeah, it's a problem. <laughs> He'll be stronger than I am by the time he's eleven. <laughs> yeah, it's a problem. But you enjoy doing the podcast with the fam? Yeah, it's great. It's tons of fun. It's good to just sit there and talk shit and make fun of each other. And it's great. Now, is it like Red Table Talk where you guys even air out? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, with the family, it's tough. It, no, we haven't got there yet. I could see it going to that way, area of like, hey, we'll, we'll start just getting there. You know, I get the, if I start saying certain things, I'll get the look from my sister. Yeah, She'll no, go, she's all, you going like, to go there? Yeah. Oh, you know, really? death stare. Oh, really? like, don't you dare bring that up. And so I'm like, okay, well, all it's right. Scary. But you can edit it. Yeah. You want a magic yeah. mind? What is that? What does it do? It's it's awesome. It's like a it's like a. If you think you see ghosts now, it's like an it's like a nootropic. It's like a, a it gives you like energy for five hours. Is that the it's last matcha. one? It's all natural. Oh, it's matcha. It's the last yeah, one. It's all natural. That's is the last that the last one? one? God damn. It's it's really good. We don't it's have like, more, Georgie. I take when you take it. Like if you drink, do you drink coffee? Yeah. Try it with a cup of coffee. You need one cup, and that's it. Okay, that's awesome. cool. That's why I'm, I'm addicted it's to not, coffee, and that's how I got started. It doesn't make you jittery. It just okay. makes you like kind of alert. Man, I was addicted to good. coffee and Adderall, yeah, and now I don't good. have any issues. Well, you'll get. A, I get addicted to it. Mm. That's uh, zesty. Zesty. It's rather zesty. Not bad. Uh, nice. I felt bad. I didn't want to be drinking. A little chalky, but it's okay. A little chalky. A little chalky. A little chalky. That's the matcha speak. It's like licking a sweet lawnmower. Yeah, I dig Adaptogens. it. Adaptogens. <laughs> Sweet lawnmower. You know what I'm saying? Like a exactly candy-crusted right. lawnmower. There we go. Thanks, brother. Wait, is that a... Who's doing Kratom right now? I am. Really? Not, yeah. I don't do Kratom. What isn't... Okay, what is the deal with Kratom? Isn't it like a... Is it narcotic? It, yeah. Now the way they ha do it, I think it's it's. Uh, Chin, take it from <laughs> here. It's a, it's been around for thousands of years. Boom. So, so it's heroin. So like so heroin. <laughs> no, no. And cocaine. So it doesn't. It kind of like binds to the same receptors as like if you did opioids. Right? Okay. But it's not an opioid. Okay. So it's just it's it's been around forever and it's at, it's natural. It's a dried leaf. It's crushed. Yeah. And farmers used to use it to keep you know if you take a little bit you have energy. If you take a little bit more you, you get sedated a little bit. So. Okay. I mean, I've been doing it for, I don't know how long. There's different so strands. Years, I've yeah. been meeting different, Jim different veins. Since I met Jim, we've both been doing it. He does a lot more than me. But yeah. I, I cut my dose down a lot, though. But uh, anytime the government's like trying to sanction things, like, yeah. what's going on here? Yeah. Because yeah. people started using natural this, you know, natural stuff for pain and for other stuff. And then obviously the FDA is trying to that's know, when I jump on board. It. I'm like, I'm is in. this where we find out you're the kratom campaign? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. California. I'm not making it. Uh, no. I'm the Pablo Escobar. Come in. You just like chainsawed a, g a guy in half because yeah. he forgot to pay you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, Did you ever see that? Did you ever see yes. that video? Well, no. The, oh, the, the real one. The cartel. The cartel. Where they, they chainsawed like the like a woman's head off. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. I've it's, seen those. It's the gnarliest thing you've ever seen. No, I can't watch that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I cannot watch that. I, I saw it, and I saw the Daniel P Pearl one too. Yeah, you can. I can't watch it. Oh no, it mess me up for weeks. I don't yeah. watch them any longer. The, yeah, you it, can't the, unsee things. The brutality no. is so bad. With the cartels like how they, they just don't look at humans the same. They don't value no. it the way we do. They just they just it'll ruin your entire yeah. week. What what? I guess it was she. Was she in, coughed. Yeah, she coughed. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. She was involved in like a rival faction or whatever, and they just took her out into a field and was like, Bruh. "Good God, man!" Yeah. These fucking you ever seen the Russian one where they monsters. cut the guy's head off with a dull knife? Yes, and they've just got he's his alive on his head. He's and, like, and, yeah. And you're like, yeah. I was like 15 watching, like, holy shit. Yeah, I don't think that's good for you. Yeah, Consumption Junction. Was that? Oh, the, dude, me and, me, and me and Jay were driving to Sacramento on Thursday. It's 6 a.m. And Jay's like, why are we leaving so I'm like, because traffic. We don't want to touch any traffic. He's like, all right. He's all groggy. We're driving. Dead stop traffic. I mean, it's the worst traffic you've ever seen. I'm like, motherfucker. And I'm like, I'm telling you. He's like, LA. I'm like, no, this is weird. Something's going on up there. So we're going. I don't see any cops. I'm like, what the fuck is going on? And finally, they're merging all to one lane. We get close. It's this four-car accident. The cars are smashed. I, and Jay goes, don't look. It's going to ruin your day. And I was like, no, I'm not going to look, but you, you just naturally be like, I just got to make sure. I just glanced over, just lady dead. Oh, just like in no. her car, But like staring at me. Oh, like, oh no. And I went, no. oh, no. What if? Me and my brother didn't talk for two hours. We were just like. Okay, but what if she wasn't dead, but then died? Because I could have helped her? Well, no, you were the last person she saw, and you just kept driving. My windows are tinted. Mm. <laughs> Boom. Hey, why are you why are you killing <laughs> like, this amazing setup? But think about it. Like she went like this, so she went. 
Brandon Schwab. <laughs> she's, all, <laughs> she's all. She's all Deuce Gang fast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's uh. Yeah, it was that dark. So yeah, it, man, it was it's, dude, car accidents. I was. I missed worst. my show. I was an hour late to my show in Chicago because uh, there was. I've never seen this kind of traffic, and I was calling. I go, I don't know what's going on, and there was a dude who was trying to jump off the bridge into traffic, and the cops, the Chicago cops, are real. You know, they 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 haven't seen anything or anything, and they're all. You could see them talking to him, and he's he's raving, you know, and they. I guess they ended up saving him. And it turns out he was trying to kill himself because he got caught for being a child molester. Mm. Ah, they should have let him. Yeah. yeah that the part, cops just I should. made that part up. Oh. Uh, okay. That last part. Oh, if he was the cops, would be like, you did what? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they'd be oh, like, hold hey, on. Okay, hold on. Ahead. Hold on. Right, don't yeah. know. Just stay there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, He's coming go ahead. for us, boys. Go yeah, ahead, boys. I, I want to add a twist because I want to see what you guys would do. But that It was a bad story, yeah. right? And so you tried saving it? You no, should have said he jumped on No, I remember he was a homeless guy just raving, and they had, but he just held up traffic. And Dude, we, we had one o over here. I, was, I remember when I was fighting, I was going to jiu-jitsu. Traffic was so bad. Dead stop. People out of their car just sitting there. And I'm like, what the fuck is going on? She's like, look, same thing. Dude going to jump on the freeway. We're there for two hours. The old lady in front of me gets out of her car and goes, just fucking do it already. <laughs> I was like, yeah, savage, age, but also kind of with her on this. No. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this lady, they were not having it. Remember a couple, People were like, just do it. Oh Remember God. a couple years ago on, uh, I think it was the five over by like Los Feliz, a guy was racing his like souped up whatever, gets in a wreck, gets launched out of his vehicle and splatted and oh, no. stuck on the freeway side. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, it was the craziest shit ever. The they had to like peel his body oh, off the freeway side. It's like a cartoon. Yeah. Like an accordion. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, that's, that's, that's like my father in law. He's CHP for 30 years. So he was, uh, oh, he was, I've yeah. seen more dead people than you would imagine. He was first day on the job. He's like 22 years old. First day on the job. He goes, This guy was driving and he, he wasn't paying attention. He was going 90, drove in the back of a semi truck. He goes, So his arms are broke, but the way he must have, his head hit, it just evaporated. So he goes, I, uh, I'm the first one. It's the first call ever. Pulls up. Oof. All he sees is a headless body there. Dude. And they're like looking around for the body. Yeah. Dude. Wait, he, zoom in on that chair. Yeah, I don't want to like show this obviously, but. Well, yeah. He uh, flew all the way up there. Yes, dude. Dude, that's his body up there. Yeah. Oh, that's so crazy. How wild is that? Look at that car. That's so fucking crazy. You imagine if you're watching like. <laughs> By the way, you're stuck up there. You okay? That what is if though? What if. Sorry, it's too dark. I'm not going. No, 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 go ahead. <laughs> no, I like where you're going, Jack. I like but where you're. What if, like, we we went like medieval status, right? And he yeah. was racing his. I be, as I recall, he was street racing. I could be wrong, so if people are going to listen to this and get offended, sorry. Yeah. But, um, what if we did like medieval times where they would just hang the body at the gates to be like, look what this idiot did, and like this is how. Like a warning. Yeah. Yes. Like great deterrent. Don't street race. You know who yes. does that? The cartel. Yeah. Don't do drugs, yeah, and well, they hang them off the bridge. Yeah. Yeah. That's they write messages on the body. Whatever. Yeah, they did that. That's they still do that. Tim Kennedy said that when he was in Afghanistan, these guys. Uh, that's fucking. That's nuts. By the way, I, I didn't know. <laughs> that. How did he get I can't launched? get over that. Did he have a spring it said, in his seat? It said he got. He was trying to pass, and then somehow something happened. Oh, so but, yeah. Okay. It, I mean, That's, from this, yeah. I'm just reading reading this part. The passing on shoulder, it, and okay. he's twenty. Passing on shoulder, yeah. twenty. You know how high? You know how fast you have to, he's launched. You're out twenty of years old too. You're, you're probably like driving super fast. <laughs> yeah, it's terrible. <sighs> yeah, it sucks. But well, what were you saying about Tim Kaine medieval times bodies? So he was coming back from. Uh, they had to escort this um, convoy in the worst part of Afghanistan, and they were in firefights all the way down there. And then as he was coming back, they had to have firefights back. In fact, they had like some crazy number, like 39 trucks and they and got there with only eight trucks. It was crazy. And so, but there was this, there was this, in this war torn insane place, there was a village, this village with, he said it was like Shangri-La, beautiful people, healthy. It was like, you know, they're out in the fields, you know, it was like an agrarian little village, like the Shire. Mm. And before they got there, because they were starving and thirsty, there was a body hanging, like right from a tree. And it was a Taliban's body. And the message, and there was a message that said, this is what happens to all Taliban that try to come into our village. And those motherfuckers weren't playing around. And Tim, in the book, it's really wild, because Tim had been through so much. And the, the, this old man saw him and said the old man had like blue eyes in Afghanistan. 
And Tim looked at him, and the old man saw him, and Tim was covered in fucking just shit and everything. And the old man just took him into his arms, and Tim started crying. And they said they were there, and they fed him, and they hung out with him, and they were the most beautiful people in the world. And he thinks he, he still feels like they all thought it was a dream. They were like, did we just go into a portal in the middle of a war town? <laughs> yeah. And then as they were driving away, that body was just hanging there. Just a fucking message. You just hear like a bell toll somewhere out of nowhere. <laughs> yeah. And a dog. Oh. <laughs> yep. And Jack Osborne's there. And, uh, just I sit down with you're a, the, yeah, with you're a the book. therapist. Yeah. Guys, yeah, sit around. <laughs> Come around. Yeah. yeah that's, uh, man, uh, are you going to let your kids drive? Do your kids drive Dude, yet? Dude, it's, it's. It scares the shit out of me. Yeah. It scares the shit out of me because it's on Social media scares me more than driving. Really? Yeah. That's a, that's interesting. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Especially like boys, whatever, the, a young girl on social media, especially this oh. day and age and all those creeps. Yeah. No, I'm not. I have a, my salute, I, I figured out my, my, my hack for that with my Flip daughter phones. is I, uh, I got her an Apple watch so she can make calls, she can text. Oh, wow. But oh, she no can't. No social media. No social media. Oh, can't brilliant. surf the web. Oh, shit. And, and I know where she is at all times. Oh, that's brilliant. That's really good. Yeah, that's my that's my like steal that parent one. and hack. It's a good huh. one. Huh. My like, daughter's been really good about not being on it. Like they she just doesn't she refuses to engage. Like I, I asked her about Twitter, she stopped me. She goes, Twitter's the most toxic place in the world. Nobody in my age is on it. <laughs> no, kids aren't on Twitter, but TikTok. Yeah. Yeah. Only fans. No, yeah. yeah only fans. <laughs> TikTok, the you porn. Good, bro. These kids, man. It's just yeah. It's yeah, a pipeline. It's, it's TikTok tough. is a pipeline for OnlyFans. Yeah, dude. Yeah. It's tough to I stop it. I think we'll it. figure it out. I think that kids are going to, I think people will always figure out that there are bad, whenever there's a bad shadow side to things, you, you figure it out. I mean, people are not. They it only took 30 years with cigarettes. Yeah, well, it takes a while, but sometimes <laughs> they'll do it, you know. Wait, cigarettes are bad? <laughs> Depends who you ask. <laughs> you smoke? No. no, no yeah. I, yeah, I don't know if they're going to figure out by the time, especially not by your time, your kids are. I think they They're do. going through I it right now. I think, though, the people go. It's never been bigger, Brian. I know, but I think that people kind of figure out ways to insulate themselves. I hope. Yeah, I think it's pendulum. I think the pendulum is going to start swinging back to where I'm seeing it with my, my uh, a guy who works with me, his son and their friends. They kind of just laugh at all the craziness that is pumped into That's good. kids' heads. Dr drinking and driving. You just don't see that anymore. No. It used to be completely well, Uber acceptable. But, but people still don't. People are like, I've been drinking, I can't. Or I got to drink. You would never see anybody do that. The yeah. message is, it's like, if something's that bad, so well, now they just take fentanyl brain. and just die. So, yeah, well, that's you know. true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the numbers just don't dying. align with it. Be like the age of death of under 18 has never been higher. Yeah. <laughs> so it's tough. Yeah. But I, I read Jonathan Haidt's work on that. It's, it's still minimal. It's like, yes, it's up, but it's not. You know what people think it is. What with the fentanyl deaths or with suicide? the no, no, that's, that's deaths serious. under eighteen. That's it's never You're been suicide. No, I'm talking about it, it, anything. Just it's death a, in general. Oh, okay. It's never been more dangerous to be under eighteen. Oh, as far as death. Huh, really? True? It's more dangerous. Wow, I feel like. Bring it up, Jen. I'm looking. I think if you add a fentanyl deaths, yes, I, I would agree with that. Well, it's under Mao. I love that. That was the first thing that comes <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, under Mao. <laughs> I was like, okay, uh, yeah, I mean, that's appropriate. Sure. So, how do we Google this? It de deaths under 18 versus like 20. Wait, wait, did you guys just go to deaths under 18, Stats. 2022? Take the number and then do deaths of 18 uh, in the 90s. Accidents. The yeah, there's so many different death. versions. Of leading them. cause of death under that's the That's accidents, yeah. I guarantee. Firearms continue to be a number Boys one. Moves. Really? More Accidental than, firearms. More than drowning? I, mean, I thought drowning was number yeah. one. Drug overdoses, uh, poisoning, well, yeah, obviously, right. from there stuff in like the kitchen. It's increased 186% since Jeez. 2000. Wow. And 103% since 2019. Oh, man. So you, what I'm hearing you say is all this, like, let's protect our kids. Isn't working. Isn't working. Huh. Yeah. What wow. a surprise. What yeah. a surprise. Interesting. Yeah, it, it's scary. It's not good. Well, We're not heading in the right good direction. <clears throat> Especially with fentanyl. There's, and the borders are open, so more fentanyl's coming through. Like it's, yeah. We're not heading in a good direction. No. No. Wait, weren't you living in Venice until recently? Yeah. Yeah, because I remember seeing something online, and you were like talking about how it, you were just miserable during COVID because it was zombie land over there. Oh, dude, beyond. Like, I can't even tell you. It was so nuts that... Um, like, so, so my, my wife, or well, my girlfriend at the time, gets in her car, and uh, dude just gets in the back of her car. Just gets in the back of her car. <laughs> like an Uber? He's like, what? Yeah. Did, he, did and, she ask him where he's going? Or and, he... uh, yeah, she goes, what are you doing? He goes, I'm just, uh, was just getting in the car. Maybe you could drive me. 
And she goes, you want me to drive you somewhere? And she's kind of a girl from Philly. She goes, get the fuck out of my car right now. He goes, what's the big deal? I just wanted to ride. She goes, get the fuck out of my car. And he gets At least out. he was nice. Yeah. Yeah. But that was a, that was a, they, they would come into our front yard, take the bikes. It was just, it was just a nightmare. They would squat on, remember that you were selling your house, they'd squat on your house? Oh, so they were, they were, they were uh, t two dudes just smoking crack right there in front of where I had, it was like a little family park. So I, I go, I was like, fuck this right now. And I have the gardener come and I go, set up sprinklers now. He goes, well, it's a, the city. I go, I don't give a shit what it is. Bring the pipe from my thing, set sprinklers up here. And every time they would come, I would just shoot the sprinklers at them <laughs> and kept them the fuck out of there. Then a dude set up a giant tent like structure. And I go out and I go, it's not happening on my, you're not doing that on my fucking sidewalk. It's not happening. And the whole neighborhood's like, oh, like that. So I go, I go, I'm the savior here. I'm the, I'm the, if not me, who, if not now, when? Classic Jack, reluctant yes. hero. You understand what I'm saying, bro? So this dumb dumb that I am, I go out and I go, you got to get out of here. And he goes, nah, man. <laughs> Nah, because uh, I checked, you know, I go, I don't care who you checked with. I yeah. checked with who? I don't care who you checked with. He goes, the guy. you can't move me, this is my stuff. So I go, I know, but I'm telling you that I'm going to move you. He goes, you're not moving me. And I go, no, I'm telling you that, that this, you're, this is not going to be here. No matter what you do, I'm moving this. So we can either do it this way or we can do it another way. He's in his underwear, not a small guy. And he gets, starts doing this. He goes, let's go, motherfucker, you want to go? And he's doing this, you want to go? And I'm like, and now I'm squared up and the whole neighborhood is there and I'm squared off with a guy and I'm going to fight this guy. You're about to get your ass whipped by a homeless dude because well, they're crazy. Well, well, thank you because I go, they're hold on, I'm going to fight this guy in his tidy whities He's not a small guy and he's out of his fucking mind. They also and bite. Yeah. Thank you. And I'm going, I'm going to get bit. Something's going to, I'm thinking I'm going to punch him in the face. He's crazy. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, I remember I, I remember this. I, I got that when I started thinking about that, I got nervous, but I go, I'm not going to back down. And I went like that with my back foot so I could keep my weight on my back foot and like punch him. So I'm doing this and I'm going, what am I fucking doing right now? My friend Jay, who is like a real peace loving guy, comes, oh, hey, you guys, blah, blah, blah. we break it up. Long story short, Brian killed him. I, I killed him. No, no, this is, <laughs> I don't know if I told him this crazy family. fucking story because I'm with my, my, so I go, so he, I go and check. I find out his name. And uh, I go and check to see if he's there. I would say his name, and I'd hear him uh -huh. move around. Then my friend said, Jay said, he left. He went, like, I saw him walk toward the beach. So good old Rye puts a hat on, puts his mask on, my gloves. I take a Prius that I had, and I begin to dismantle. Wait, his you drove over it? No, 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 no. Oh. I took a knife. And I cut, it was all tent and stuff. Yeah. And I started cutting and you I'm taking this stuff. But here's what I found. I found a bunch of really good wine <laughs> and I found two machetes. He had two machetes in there. Nice. So that would have been well, real good to defend me. himself. Or kill me because I'm trying to fight oh, yeah. him. Chop up the great. people who he murdered to steal the wine from us. And then there were, were your bugs. neighbors like there were fucking bugs. There were black. I don't know if there were bed bugs. They were all over the place. They weren't even roaches. They were these weird. I'd never seen. It was weird. So I wouldn't think that at a homeless. I took yeah, and I took it all, and it took me an hour and twenty minutes to get all his stuff, put it in a Prius, and I drove it to different trash cans and threw it away. And Did I he come back? He's like, what the he house? Lost. He didn't come just, but just come back. He lost his mind and started threatening everybody. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Then I made friends with him, and I told him that it was these Russian dudes who were mafia guys. Wow. I did, and I said, and they're, they- I thought you were going to say, I made friends with him. He's my financial advisor. Nope. <laughs> I said to him- I, That's I, some I, shit my child's you do. godfather. No, no, he's my therapist. I said to him, I go, hey, bro, do you remember me? I, I was trying to get you out of there, and he was like, he looked at me, and he's like- he, he wasn't sure, and I go, I was the guy we were about to get in the thing, but then what I was trying to do is save you from these dudes. I knew they were going to do this to you. So now I, made, I became his ally. By lying. But then he would come back on his bike. Shit, man. He'd come back on his bike and threaten the people. I'm coming back here. I want to get all my shit and freak out. And then finally he just I would have gone with the black helicopter route. I'd have been like, hey, you know those black helicopters that keep following you? Yeah. They landed. They took all your stuff. 
that suburban right there, they're hiding in that. Yeah, I'd say you come back, yes. dude. They're gonna grab you, dude. They're gonna grab Don't you. I told them you you left town. Well, I Why tried would? to do that. I was kind of like going, you don't want to mess with these guys. I've been trying to stall time with them, but they're gonna. He didn't really care. <laughs> no, no, he's like, what? Anyway, I moved. Anyway, the long story short, I sold my house. Got the fuck out of there. Venice yeah. is back though now. It's back. I was just down there the other day. It's great. It's back. It's happening. I mean, it's still Venice. But yeah. I like the flavor of it. You still you live in the mean streets of? No, Venice? I'm in uh I'm in the meaner streets of Encino. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Close. Yeah, I love it's the nice yeah, out there. The, the eight one eight. Nice. You know. Yeah. Do you go? Do you have a place in? Uh, do you keep a residence in, in England? My family has the home out in the countryside still, and yeah. so I I barely go back though. Really? I, I go if there's work or maybe once every couple of years with the family. Or to keep that half an accent going. Exactly. Although when I get that, accent. when I get that, they're like, oh, you're from America. And I'm like, <laughs> sort of. Yeah. I don't belong anywhere. This is this is this is why I've been in therapy for so long. Yeah, I just they you don't have, fit in. Yeah, no I'm place. just like a, I'm like lost. And, I'm like, uh, and how's your pop's health? He's doing okay. <clears throat> yeah, he had a he had a he's had a rough go the last five years. He took a fall. He had all this crazy spine neck issues, bad surgeries, and what was wrong? What's the so he in 2003 he had a motorcycle accident and completely shattered stuff and they put a bunch of bolts in he was in a coma for like two weeks jesus christ yeah it was bad and afterwards he was fine he he did that classic thing of well i'm not gonna rehab it i'm just gonna go about my business and somehow managed to come out relatively unscathed well 20 years later it caught up with him and he Damn. developed all sorts of issues with his neck he, he has parkinson's and he sometimes has mobility issues with that and he was getting back into bed one night and he missed the bed because he couldn't, he wasn't really, you know, having, he wasn't having a good night. And he hit his face on the ground and it basically shattered his cervical spine. Fuck, Jesus Christ. Yeah. So he's had numerous surgeries. Like he's doing well, man. He's yeah, doing he's well. Doing, well, it, all considering, but he, uh, he finally had his last surgery. He's pain free. They fixed all the nerve damage stuff. And so now he just has to do a ton of physio. Which how he how old to is do. he? 74, I think. Because he ran so hard in the paint. Yeah, and he's so. uh, and he's uh, and I should say he's seventy four with city miles. He's not like seventy four, <laughs> you know, cushy, you know, yeah. Yeah. highway Does miles. Does he still play yeah. music? Does he? Is he? He's just going back in the studio. Yeah, he he uh, had an album out last year. Won a couple Grammys. Shit, was, he did that song with Post Malone. Yeah, which is massive. Won yeah. a couple of Grammys. Yeah, still doing it. Still doing it. I you never telling. were into music. Never. No. Yeah. No, because I it's no matter what if i yes. would have gone into music well it's only because of oh, smart. See, yeah fucking smart it's like being michael jordan's son yeah don't do basketball yeah, yeah. yeah don't yeah. do, do basketball football. yeah do go do something else. different do golf yeah it, it's fans. different though i think it's different though for i would say i'm not just saying this for comedians kids and fighters kids because you can actually get in the ring and like go fuck someone up yeah and be like oh rat like think about all the gracies they're yeah. all <clears throat> machines yeah. that just yeah. murder people and I think, you know, for being a comedian, it's something that no matter what, there's no faking that. You cannot fake That's being a comedian saying. and you can't. And with music and with acting, there is a bit of like, you can, you know, there's some uh, smoke and mirrors. That's very true, man. Stand up is doesn't give a shit about anything other than are you funny? You cannot fake it. Yeah, but it's also like the way you grew up, the way I grew up. Whether it's fighting or comedy, our kids aren't growing up that way, mm -hmm. so it's it's tough for them to you know to follow it in yeah. any footsteps. Would you? Want like, there's no kids? great comedians out of Calabasas. There sure is fucking I, no I good don't... fighters out of Calabasas. I don't know. Kim and Courtney Kardashian are really funny. Yeah. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> they are absolutely a scream if you get to know them. Yeah, my son is not my. Son Son is without a doubt um, as much a natural comic as I've ever seen. He, or at least I see the mechanism in which he's always obsessing over information, mm. how to make it funny, and talking to himself. He's listening to a different song. So my son definitely has that misfit energy that's needed. Mm. We'll see. You know, I don't know. I think but. being a comedian is the most terrifying thing ever. I'd be terrified. It's a tough gig. Yeah, it would. Yeah, I just, I'm like, oh man. So it's like anything else, you know. You just, it, I think, in the beginning, it's always terrifying, but then you just learn to navigate it. You learn to, you learn to enjoy the pain. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think. Well, I don't think it ever gets easy. I'll tell you that. I think you can, you can write a special, and then you have to kind of come up with a whole new set of jokes or theme without actually um, repeating yourself. Mm. You know, when you when you when you are like in the business of self expression, telling stories, there's this tendency to be obsessed with the same questions over and over again, or the same theme. 
and you've got to figure out a way to fucking break that. That's yeah. that's the challenge. I think all of it's tough. Like even like like being a musician, like especially this day and age, or when your dad's coming up, like just to get notice is a nightmare. For comics, is a nightmare. Mm. TV, like what you're doing, TV. You know, the chance of having a successful TV show is especially this day and age. Yeah, it's like dude. <laughs> I mean, there's yeah. so much content. Yeah, to be a successful comic, there's so much competition. Yeah. Yeah, it's a mother. How's your show doing? Speaking of which, I watched it. The, it's doing well. See, it's doing well. You see, uh, I can never tell. I can because they know ev they don't ever give you numbers for streaming. It's the you know thus the strike. But um, I who knows? Yeah, you know, I and I can never uh, you know they oh it did good. But you're like is that good in 2023 or is that good? Like, what does that mean now? Yeah. You don't want to hear them. Like, you know, the social media clips are crushing. Yeah, yeah. You're like, right. But what's how's that work? Oh, they don't TV? do any social media clips. Yeah. <laughs> the networks don't do that anymore. They you don't. have to do that yourself. <laughs> yeah, they don't get it. I yeah. knew that was the case when my uh, when we started doing really well with the podcast and it started changing everything and money wise, everything. And my agent, I remember at Innovative, had no idea what I what I was doing with a podcast. Like, was just like they uh, made fun of you. Yeah, like you're doing all your podcast, buddies did too. Hey, listen, you can do this TV show and you can make this money, and I'm like, hey, I'm doing way better than that on a podcast. Yeah. They just had no idea. They were all so behind the ball. Yeah. But now all, the first thing you do is pitch people podcasts because there's money into it. Yeah. So CA's like, yeah, we'll sign you. Do you want a podcast? Yeah. That's what they do now. Wait, what's tomorrow. going on with that whole debacle? You guys navigating that all right? We, we figured it out. Okay, we good. We figured it out. It's a nightmare. Yeah. That's the other thing about podcasting is, you know, it is the Wild West. Yeah. So this isn't the first time we've been stolen from. So yeah. it's tough, man. Yeah, it's, yeah definitely. Yeah, who, yeah. Who, who, who does all your podcast stuff? Um, So I, I my company produces it, and I have an ad sales guy. In-house? He, uh, he's sort of. He's super boutique. He's been. He did, like... All of Kevin Smith stuff. He was he Kevin's was actually, great. He was one of like the early ad sales guys yeah. in the podcast world. So, That's what you want. Yeah, and yeah. I've known him twenty years. So. Yeah, it's with, with us. If you want to know the real story, it's the Coffeezilla thing. Mm. People are writing some bullshit yeah. about what they think. They don't know what the fuck they're talking about. We figured out a way to get paid over a two year period. Oh, cool. And um, it was it was. It was uh, for a long, touch and go. A lot of no power nights. drills or train chainsaws involved. There was a, well, you know, that's when you want uh, you want some chainsaws and you want an open field. <laughs> yeah, and you want a group of you want a cartel. Yeah. There are times in life when you're in business where you wish you were in a cartel so you could go and fucking clean house. Yeah. Because some people, as I guess, when, as you get older, you start to realize, and I'm sure you've re re realized this being in the spotlight. There are people that are the biggest assholes on the planet, including in the press, who just want a story and mm -hmm. do whatever they want. Yeah. And it's just the way it is, you know. Yeah, and kinda. and you get around really well people who've been in the spotlight a long time. And they just go, they're just like, it's like, what are you going to try to fight the weather? Go punch a hurricane. See, it's the same <laughs> fucking thing. Well, well, also yeah. like I was talking to other comics who got stolen from, and I was like, yeah, I don't know what we're going to do, and they're all, D didn't you used to fight in the UFC? Like, <laughs> go get our money. I was like. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're, Let's you're go heavy, get it. You're the heavy in the podcast yeah. world now. Yeah. Just send you. I'm the enforcer. Unfortunately, <laughs> just go be mean. Yeah, I was like, oh, okay, I'll be right back. Well, you could. And I do killed that. him. He, you could do that. Like one time, Brandon, Brandon, my wife on. and I, my wife and I answered the door, and he had to drop something off, and it was like a, it's like a Sunday. It was like a cozy day, and we were about to sit down. We had our like little slippers on. <laughs> I had my cozy stuff. We were going to watch a movie. I had a bottle of wine. Oh, yeah, yeah. Was it from the homeless encampment? It was not from the homeless <laughs> <Okay. laughs> Thank you for the callback. You drank the homeless guy's <laughs> wine. <laughs> yeah. Before that, Brendan was still fighting, and me and my beautiful <laughs> wife, and we were all- It was mm, in Brentwood, I yeah, think. We were, no, it was in, it was in Santa actually, Monica? it was in Santa Monica, but the expensive part of Santa Monica. You were off San Vicente. Yeah, was it was on the left side. The okay. north, yeah. Yeah, the not the right. Not okay. the right. I was spending way too much on rent. So near Montana. Yes. Yes. Thank you. That's exactly where it was. And we're just there, big wide streets, clean streets, and and I was just like, ding, I think ding he answered dong. the door in a we robe. We both did. We both in like our they're little in robes. robes. I was we like, what the, the door. fuck? We're like, hi, and he's just standing there like this, and he's looking at us, and he and he drops off something. I don't remember what it was, and he stands Shirts, there like that. Random. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah random, random. <laughs> and I go, I dropped I go, off magic. I go, man. okay, and he goes, you know what? <laughs> You know, I could kill you both, right? right. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, what? He goes, I could take your heads and go like that, I think. Or your wife was used both to our banter. You. Your wife was like, what? And I'm, like, I'm a macho guy, so I was like, bullshit. And he goes, what are you going to do? <laughs> and my wife was like, hmm. 
<laughs> and I was like, hey, this is a shitty conversation. <laughs> Fuck off, man. Yeah, I got to buy felt, a gun. I just felt compelled to do that. Yeah, just stand there looking at us. Like, probably had been training You guys were all too day. cozy. Yeah, you were like, I could kill you both. Look at your necks. <laughs> do you have thoughts like that, Brandon? Do you ever like sat in like a restaurant and you just look around and you like... It'll pop up every now and then. That's I, why I was going to therapy. I had so much anger. Yeah. Yeah, and I have a set of skills I could use. So I had to see a therapist about it. Yeah. It's gone now. It takes so much to get me angry. So, yeah. I mean, so much. So much. Yeah, you picked me up the other day upside down. That was really weird out here. You, Because I grabbed you. And I tried I to do something. And then you picked it. me up and that was upside I, down. I, I wouldn't even and talk like, about fighting terrible. if it wasn't like for him. He always up. brings it up. I don't. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. So were you you found yourself, you were like, a, you were an angry fighter? No, not at all. Where'd the anger come from? Uh, when I started doing comedy. Uh. People are so mean to me. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> How really mean to me. I was like, oh, I could just beat them up, but that doesn't work. No. You know, so I had to channel that to something else. I, if I were you, I, I think with my temperament, I would squeeze them. You have the worst temper. You, you, I was I mean, thinking about this on the way here. I'm I like, Brian has the worst temper. I'll kill I know. him. I, I'm, I'm he scared. He has such a bad temper. I'll, kill, I'll fucking. And it goes zero. You know, you're not going to do anything. No, I'll, I'll, I'm hey, afraid I'm going to kill somebody. But you're not. The problem is your, your anger is so. You've never done it, but your anger is <laughs> yeah, so yeah. bad. Your anger is so bad. <laughs> but that's why. That's even, at the, even at the festival, you're like, fuck. I'm like, hey man. No, I get when I get angry, I'm fucking. What gets you angry? You have anger issues. No, I don't have anger issues. Bob. Sunflowers. I, I, the, the difference is between me is if, if I'm gonna if I got something to go if if I'm angry, I consider it like like I, I'm not gonna talk trash. I'm I, if if I really don't like you, then I consider it something. You know, it's like I might get physical with you mm. instead of like talk about it. I'm really might get physical with you. Like that's how I think about it. But, yeah. but it's and not then, like you're going up pushing people and doing that stuff. So it's not. fun to talk not. about. But you, like in your head, you stoop and you have these fake arguments in your head, and the anger gets worse. It's actually worse than that, bub. It's worse than that. Oh no, yeah, your anger's. But I was driving this morning. I'm like, oh, Brian has real anger problems. I got fucking anger problems. I'm really like Jay that way. Hmm. Even Jay's learned to deal with it, man. Yeah, man, no, I get angry. What? I'm not. I'm I, don't about, I don't know about Jack. that. You have anger problems, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. You go zero to hundred. Well, where I'll be like, there's certain cool. things that, that that, but you got to take it into context, Bob. There's there's one thing that triggered me. I agree, and, but then and, then and it now, wasn't Skankfest. It wasn't. No, it no, has nothing to do with Skankfest. No, no. It was something, it was something else outside that triggered Skank me, Fest. and I was like, and I, I was having a good old time. Yep, not me. And, and then, then you're and like, then, oh, fucking. It. I was like, yeah, yeah. That's where I want to. I really do want to fucking do some bad shit that I'm, I'm going to go to jail for. Like, mm -hmm. like the the what I get scared about is that sometimes you can get so mad that you're like this. You're like. I think it's worth going to jail for this. I know it's fucking crazy to say that. Well, no, you have kids. Isn't, no it, kids. isn't it funny when you when you get that yeah. rage and you're like, oh, you've totally rationalized yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, maybe like, I'll just go to jail. It might be worth it. Like, yeah. what, a year? Uh, I mean. Well, it's California now. You might. You might, might get a slap on the wrist yeah. and a fine. Yeah. yeah. You know, but sir, you no killed bail. everyone. Yeah. I know I killed everyone. But let me explain. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I I get it. I yeah. messed up, but here's why. Yeah, but I'm not Zen like Jack Osborne. No, I believe me, I'm not. The amount of times that like I get called by everyone in my you've got anger issues. I they say it all the time. Really? To me. Well, it's because you know what it is with me. I I will speak what I'm thinking when I'm pissed off instead of just sitting there being like yes. stewing. I make a lot of mistakes too with that. Yeah. 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 But when I was... Should, the, the move is to wait. Yep. Pause. Calm down yeah. and then articulate. Yeah, but yeah. see, I also blow I up shoot and from the I'm hip. fine. You're right, right? Like I blow up, I lose my mind, but then I'm fine. Yeah. yeah. Me but too. let me just go you crazy. You explode and then you come back down. My, my, like, my, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. my phone was fucked up yesterday and I, we had guests and I was, I was, I was freaking out. I was like, this motherfucking phone, this book... And it was so inappropriate that the guest and my wife was like, hey, what are you doing? I got a fucking phone, fucking bullshit, and I that had stuff to let it out. Yeah, that won't get to me. It's other stuff. Yeah. Like that technical stuff, there's nothing you can do. I'm yeah, like, yeah. Do you find like doing jujitsu or, because you, you do jujitsu, right? Yeah, but not, not now. You I don't? I need to do that. I was boxing a lot. Okay. That was good. That was, that was I think just anything. Working yeah, just out, like get yourself out, tired. Out well. Yes, yes, yes. I mean, yes. when you're physically tired, you kind of just like. That was, that was the biggest thing the therapist told me. It's like, God, I know this. Why am I paying this dumbass hundreds yeah. of dollars to tell me to work out? Yes. Yeah. Because he's, like, you, he's like, you're looking at working out just for your body. It's, for, it's more for your, your brain, for your yeah. mind. He's yeah, like, that, there's a whole thing like, about you need that. an outlet. I was like, yeah, you're right. You're right. Here's your money. Yeah. <laughs> now I'm gonna go work out and never be back. You are right though. I get super angry. Yeah, like, you have anger issues. It's all good. <laughs> I don't. I mean, it's all good. Yeah. Yeah. You need to talk to somebody. Whatever. No. Nope. Try gardening. 
No, I don't have a garden, but I, I could do that. I, I, what I think, could you uh, do to get your mind off of it? I think just training, like doing hey. jiu-jitsu or something, but I'm not going to do You're that. You're not going to do that. No, let's you talk, know why I'm let's not going to do real. that? You want to know why? It takes I'm too long. I'm 56. You don't no, get no, hurt. here's why. You don't yeah, get I got to warm up for an hour before I do that. Like, I can't. No, at 56. No, let's talk about something you could really do. Yeah. CrossFit. Yeah, I kind of do that. Yeah, you won't that. get injured with do, that. I kind of do do that. Yeah, because no one gets injured with cross. No, so yeah, safe. not ever. Yeah, yeah, what else could you do? Like that. Uh, the box again, that's fun. Nah, it's again, not, it's not spar. happening, Daddy. Let's talk about some real shit you could do. Hot yeah. yoga? No, no, no. You get no. tired? No, it's, uh, boxing's good. You could suck a bunch of dudes off. What? <laughs> I'm Why just spitball. Me and Jack oh, are just spitballing, spitballing ideas, yeah. dude. Okay, you're spitballing ideas. You could and, spit and, all the dudes off to you. Yeah, and star and OnlyFans. Yep. That's about world. Big money there. Money. Dead, dead pictures, pictures of your feet. Sanaz, what should I do? We have a new... Get your anger Sanaz, out on the cops. Sanaz, what's your, tell me your last name again. Tavisol. It's a great name. Sanaz, I'm never going to get your last name right. It's Just right. Sanaz clear, I struggle with names. It's going to hopefully be joining us. And you know what's funny, Sanaz? I said to Brendan, what about that, that gal we were talking to? I liked her. She was cool. And he said, you said something about her. So that was the plan. She's going to be the next special K. Yes. I so said, you think I just brought around for the fuck feminine, of it? We need some feminine, intelligent, what feminine I'm here to provide. Energy. Yeah. You know? What should I do? What do you think? What do you do to block? I think we need to call a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave you his number. He's a good dude. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Maybe Pilates. Pilates no, no, is good. No, Pilates, it's no, a good toning no. thing. It won't do it for me. It's not, no, it's not going to work for Brian. Running? No, I work out. It's fine. I, I know what to do. I'll just work. I work at it. I, I, but I, you work out to like exhaustion. Like at the end of the day, you just like, oh, Yeah, that's what you need. Yeah. I do that sometimes. Yeah. And I feel good. Oh, I know what you should do. What? Find one of those rage rooms. Have you ever been where you destroy everything? No. It's the greatest shit a ever. A rage room? That's not a bad idea. Yeah. And we'll film it for content. Yeah, you go in, they give you, they have all these like baseball bats, cricket bats, whatever, like iron Like medieval bars. spines. Yeah, like, yeah you go. Rage room, what? Yes. You go in there and you just wreck everything. You destroy everything and you can like even request like, oh, I want, I hate laundry machines. Fill it with laundry machines. Or, like, oh, can you put my dad's face on the doll? Yeah. Damn, look at I that. I made that up. I don't know. That's pretty cool. Uh, don't take pictures like that, though, right? <laughs> they the don't rage look room? ragey. No, that looks like an Abercrombie and Fitch rage room. That's pretty cool, though. It's a great outlet. That's a good idea, and you dude. you get exhausted. How much is it, Chen? Maybe we should start a GoFundMe. It's a good workout. What do you do? I destroy things. 60 f I'll recruit. Recruit. Oh, wait, it includes 34 <laughs> breakable glass items, a helmet with shield gloves and overalls, I Weapons and tools for raging, okay. Bad. Warrior pack to include 64, that's too much work, 64 breakable glass items and a 10-minute car smashing. Ooh, is it a new car or an old car? That'd though? be an old one. Mm. I would pay 120 to <laughs> smash up a Tesla. <laughs> He's like, is it a new car? That'd no, be meaning like has the car already been like beaten up probably, a bit or probably. is it? It's probably the resident. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, the resident birthday bash, 90 days. bucks includes uh, That's where your next a 65 is. glass and then you get a nice souvenir, a birthday setup, a banner, balloons, and It would do nothing yada. for me. What right. about paintball? Yeah, that'd be fun. Or real bullets. But yeah. that's not something you could <laughs> yeah, do. Just, yeah, go, go to like you know find I mean? some like, you know, Eastern European. Yeah. Yeah, like... Mer hostile like, type thing. I'll yeah. hunt you. Is that what you're looking for? No, no, no. Uh, I'll you hunt you. You could just get no. You put your, your face in like war paint. And I'll hunt you. you, like a dare. You would not. I know you dress up like a little dare, and I just hunt you down. Is this no, every the Tuesday? Do I get a gun too? No, no, no. Bare hands. What do you he's mean? Gonna, he's gonna bare hand broke back you, bro. Yeah, no, no, dude. No, I don't like, like really? <laughs> I'll hold yeah. you down. Gonna grab me? <laughs> no, <laughs> don't. But that's be something you do consistently. I can't hunt you every Tuesday. Uh, I went to Black House. I was going to sign up for classes. It's not for you. What's that? You got to do something that you're not going to get hurt. I know. And it, you're going to be consistent. Boxing, I, I won't get hurt. If I, as long as I don't spar. I guess you could hit mitts. Yeah. Did you see, uh, speaking of sparring, did you see Zuckerberg's picture? He Yeah, he's like, might need to change my avatar. Got two black eyes today. Yeah. It's like, oh, let me see. Oh, man. Like, no, that's, this guy's trying so hard to change his You're overall. like, no, that's from someone in Congress dipping the nuts in your forehead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> he loves having black With his eyes. his black eyes he loves already. It right there. He got tagged in the nose. Yeah, look. Oh, there you go, yeah. It's the blood went to your hey, eyes. Look, look I mean, dark eye. He, there's no soul in those eyes. Look no, at that. dude, he's a robot. That guy is just, Satan. I'm sure he is a lovely guy. Sure, but like. Maybe. Yeah. God. Didn't mm. you see the tweet he posted with his wife? He's like, typical day at the Zuckerbergs. And he's like, she she texts him. She's like, hey, babe, why is there an octagon in our backyard? There's supposed to be flowers there. He's like, whoops, sorry. It's like, 
Hey, I don't know what PR team told you that this is like a tough guy move. Well, it's yeah, fun he's trying him. to like lean into the like the bro movement. He's like, oh, he might just be fascinated with jujitsu, which is something worth being fascinated by. Sure. You know. Here it is. Did you see the octagon I put in the backyard? Yes, I saw it, Mark. It looks awesome. Mark, we have plenty of yard space. I've been working on that grass for two years. It's pretty funny, though. They don't have iPhones? Oh, interesting. I don't believe it. <laughs> yeah, they're on that, 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 that. Well, that's WhatsApp. Doesn't he own WhatsApp? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a part of Facebook? Of Chan. Oh, is it? Yeah. yeah. All right, Chin, what do you got? Let's give some current events. All right, first one. I'd like to say Mark. Oh, that's you see the channel of Jones. He started crying when he, he yeah. goes. He goes. You think my boy Hernandez killed himself? And starts crying. He did yeah, like an IG live. Started crying. Sorry, started talking you, like kind of crazy can stuff. You tell me who, He's who John Jones' it? brother. He was all. He was all. Uh, he was a Pro Bowl DN for the Arizona Cardinals. Signed a three-year, I think, ninety million or hundred twenty million dollar deal with the Raiders. And has just gone down a weird road. So now he's been released. They think it's CT or some. I, yeah. I don't know what you. Uh, Chalk it up to play that video. It, I mean, clearly the guy's going through it. Really? He clearly needs Jack as a therapist. Imagine, imagine if President Obama somehow could body jump. Imagine if President Obama could somehow body jump. He looks just like John, doesn't he? He looks, he looks like him. Huh. Oh, you know what Josh McDaniels really did to Aaron Hernandez? Wait, you don't know what happened with Aaron Hernandez and Josh McDaniels? All right, y'all talk to me right now. Because I want I want a podcast about that. If y'all don't know what happened really happened with Aaron Hernandez, y'all thought Aaron Hernandez killed himself in jail. Oh, he's not well. Mm-mm. Get ready for this. Y'all thought Chico killed himself in jail? Y'all thought Chico killed himself in jail? Yeah. Is he on? Is that mushrooms? You think? <laughs> it could be. Actually. He might be on some kind of a hallucinogenic. Man. Yeah, that like that that thought process felt very psilocybin. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going on. Sounds like you make a good fire though. Yeah. Yeah. He's on a he's on a spirit quest. Yeah. It, <gasps> I think he's on. It's something. Sad. That that looks like he's yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seeing that he's a, you think it's a you think it could be T CT or something. I, so we, we always everyone jumps to CT. I, I, I he might just be crazy. You know, like the, some guys just they want to chuck over CT. He might just be batshit crazy. Like he's always been a little off. Yeah. And so think, he's in jail right now for what though? No, he was re I no, think he's released. He just got but, kicked off the Raiders. Yeah. Oh, Violated a protective order. Oh. Is a protective order like for him? I believe it was for someone else. Man, he was such a good football player though. I mean, huh. I don't know what's going on with that golden womb of his mother's, but she's got three superstars. Sure. But so That's since... Serious issues. Oh, yeah. yeah. Since uh, mental health. Yeah. So since his brother is fighting like one of the biggest fights of his life, like soon, right? John Jones. I wonder how much this is going to mess him up. I don't know. Ooh, yeah. Probably um, not much, but... Yeah. So John Jones, the greatest. Brennan knows time. John Jones personally. He knows how so. to compartmentalize things. Yeah. But I mean, this is pretty bad. <laughs> I think uh, John will be fine. They'll get him help too. Are they, are they super close? The the, the brothers. Uh, I guess really online, knows. they seem like they are. As yeah. far as like you know. Did you? Did you were you trained with him? Was yeah. Not never with Chandler with the uh, older brother. Oh, you did. Yeah, he's great. Wait, was and, it? And, and you'd say his two older brothers are better athletes than John? Yes. Yeah, for sure. Was it? Didn't Seagal athletes. show John Jones a kick? Was it John Jones? No, <laughs> no, was that was it? Anderson Silva. Yeah, Anderson Silva, Silva yeah. showed him the front kick. The front That's kick. what he said. Yeah. Yeah. John Claude Van Damme showed uh, the Diaz bros kicks. Uh, I would uh, actually take some advice from JCVD. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he's my hero as a kid. Well, you should, sir. Yeah, he's my yeah. hero as a young man. Yeah, he blood sports. Oh my god! Did you know he's a playable character in Mortal Kombat. He is? Yeah, so it was Sylvester Sloan, Arnold Schwarzenegger. In the new one? RoboCop, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, so the one right before this. But what when else you, you get to? When you, <laughs> when you actually select JCVT, does he just hear, Kumate, yeah. Kumate, yeah, hell yeah. death touch. <laughs> Ooh. I don't know how much I care about this, but yeah, so someone saw, yeah. is charged in the Tupac Shakur murder. So uh, he was like a gang leader, and he was the one that was like involved in, when Tupac and I think, uh, what's homeboy's name? Biggie? 
No. Suge Knight. Suge Knight. Suge Knight beat up this guy in a casino. So that guy apparently wanted retaliation and then hired the whatever, the killing of Tupac. So he just hired the killing, but he didn't actually do the killing? This is what I, yeah, this, this is what I. So it was re- didn't the, the guy that got arrested, though, he said he was driving the car and it was someone in the back seat that, that shot. I think you might be right. So he orchestrated <laughs> yeah. the shooting in the matter of hours after the rapper and others attacked Dave's nephew the same day. Dave's the only suspect in the case who was still alive. Yeah, he's the only one that's alive. Really? All the other gang members yeah, are dead? Been, that's crazy. Shot, yeah. Wow. Blood in, and blood out. And the dude right there. He looks young. He got away for so long, if, that's, if it's true. Damn. Dwayne Keith, Keith D. Oh, what, what does a guy like that do now? What's he been doing, I wonder? Uh, he might hiding. be an OG. Yeah, yeah, no, he he. I saw the interview with him because he, he essentially rats on himself. He explains the whole story and how he was driving one way and Tupac was in a car coming the other and then they flipped around and mm. he goes, but it He's was probably some, trying to get a book deal and like, hey, no, dumbass, you're going to prison. Yeah, you just, it's crazy that they, that, that they got away with that in that crowded an area. He in Vegas, well, 96 on a, on a though, Saturday night. Yeah. It was off. It was off the strip somewhere. They were, because they were, I don't know. I thought it was right off, uh, like by MGM. I think it was, but I think it was like behind it. It was like some. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't right oh, off I that see, Las like, Vegas yeah. Boulevard. There wasn't a lot of people around. Yeah. Then Biggie got shot right right off like Fairfax by the museum there, right? Oh, I, I didn't know it was. There you go. Yeah. Oh, wow, I didn't know it was there. Davis talked himself right into jail. I wonder why he decided to come out with it. Well, credibility. Do anything for the views. He was trying to get his, uh, you know, his TikTok following up. Says he began to go publicly boast about his involvement in the murder, and that led to the law enforcement in Las Vegas taking another look at his claims. Yeah, like I can't. He's talked himself right into jail. Didn't didn't Tupac beat the shit out of one of the gang members with his buddies? That That's what night? just said, Doug. Yeah. We just recapped it. Oh. Yeah. I Him and Suge Knight did it to the guy, and it was his nephew. Oh. Yeah. Says the... The Davis guy participated in a 2018 Netflix documentary on the secure homicide. Suge Knight's a real sweetheart. Mm. He's in prison for life. It's just he ran over someone in a raptor. Like, yeah. Yeah. He's. What else you got, Jen? All right. This is a quick one. This is affecting us. So there's a new thing, legislation that's that's approved so far, and, and most likely would be passed by Gavin Newsom. Of course. Where there's going to be cameras that take pictures. Of your license plate, whatever. If you if you're speeding when there's no cops around. Mm. But here's the thing: it's I, I saw it, it. It's like it's two hundred dollars if you're like right hundred. So, so check this out: if you go hundred miles an hour and over, it's a five hundred dollar ticket. But if you just go ninety nine over, it's a two hundred dollar ticket. You need some pretty sweet content for two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's in. Yeah. It's when I saw it, like, oh, I could do some cool stuff for two hundred bucks. But yeah. it's not going to hold up if you appeal it because there's no due process. Like, how do you know if the machine is calibrated? Same like, yeah, yeah, cameras. Uh, so yeah, the for red, red light, lights. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, none of that stuff got there. Yeah, there's, there's all those businesses popped up. We're like, did you get a red light ticket? Send it to us, and they fight it, and you pay like forty bucks. Yeah, yeah it's the, the the ticket clinic or something. Yeah, like that. none of it holds up. Mm-hmm. And there's places like in my or in Woodland Hills. There's something. There's a camera that goes off every single time, no matter what. So it's like they don't care though, because nobody fights it. And they're, they're, most people, it's a great way to, for the city to get money because nobody. Most people go ah, fine, and they sign it. You know <laughs> the, what I mean? the, I'll tell you where they're gonna make bank is that one eleven over. That's fifty bucks, dude. We're all screwed. <laughs> eleven over. <laughs> That's ridiculous. I love yeah, it. that's rough. That's yeah, ridiculous. and you're just exactly you're gonna pay the fifty bucks because to fight it, it's gonna cost you know so four, fifty five, bucks. Whatever, make so much money off those uh, eleven over. That's Now we're all gonna have to sit there and. So if you guys live here, yeah, that's what you have to deal with. Thanks, California. Yeah, man. Oh man. Did you ever think about leaving during? Yeah, the- yeah. I have. I have. A, I have a place uh, in in Idaho. That's you like, do. My, yeah. I love Idaho. Yeah. I like it, Jack. Yeah. My admiration grows. <laughs> I'm gonna get your number. We're yeah, gonna dude. hang out a lot. Let's do it. If you wanna, yeah, if you wanna come up, man. It's uh, we got. Oh, uh, we're also, in Idaho. Uh, I'm north of Coeur d'Alene. So okay. I really love Coeur d'Alene. Yeah. yeah, it's a good spot. All right, next one. What's this guy? Is that a uh, Georgie? So Jimmy Butler, the star player for the Miami Heat, last year Stop. during media day. He showed up with a fresh set of dreadlocks past his shoulders. Soon after media day. The dreadlocks were gone. He does it just for the promo e- pictures. N- everyone speculated the whole year that it was just for the meme, just to mess with the NBA. This year, he showed up in full goth attire 
including fake piercings, lipstick, makeup, flattened hair, the outfit. I thought that was Andre 5000 or whatever. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no one knows how he feels, that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> how funny is that? He does it just for media day? Look at him. There's a place <laughs> off Ocean Avenue. He looks like a, like a lead singer of Sum 41 yeah. or some shit. Wow. He's wow. Just, you know... He's a character. He was a sports guy? What? No, not really. No. No. Cricket. <laughs> like a, you know, from a distance. Yeah. Do you drink tea or coffee? Coffee. Yeah, all right. No tea ever? Occasionally. Yeah. Sugar and milk? Uh, yeah. Proper English? Yeah. Yeah. Same. British. Yeah. Same, same. Yeah, his yeah. mom is uh, yeah, full blown. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, whereabouts? Stroud. Okay. Yeah. You know, that's yeah. all I got. What else you got? <laughs> you ever go, you ever go visit? I you know you can get your citizenship, right? Oh, I can. It wouldn't be that hard for you to get your citizenship. I am a. What you're a call? lord. I'm a lord. Yeah, you're a lord. Ah, you've got the the Scottish title <laughs> thing or whatever. Yeah, I bought uh, it for ten. Bucks. Someone sent it to me for like a hundred bucks. <laughs> there so you I go. do. I am you a lord. A tiny Is it on your? Do you have it on your credit cards? Hell yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah. Yeah. I could get because my mom yeah. was born. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Look into that. Not that, the, not that the British passport's worth a shit anymore. It was great when we were the EU because you oh, could. Thanks, Harry. Go oh, there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you know Harry? No. 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 No one wants. No, to. I'm a I'm a common folk. That man is uh you know he loves his ivory tower. Yes. Yeah. All is right. That it, Here's a quick one. Last one. So this is the new Toyota Century. It's like a it's a competitor towards the uh, the Cullinan the Rolls Royce. Royce. Yeah. But unfortunately, this is only in, uh, it's sold in Japan. But it's yeah, a Japan makes these. Yeah, though. they're sick. Whoa. Yeah, it's one hundred seventy thousand dollars. Wow. Compared sweet. to like a Cullinan, which is like what four hundred, five hundred thousand. Yeah. A Sliding Kondo door. Wheels. Jesus. Uh, well, it would be cool if it was armored. If it was what? Armored. Yeah. 100%. I'm sure they make those. They could. hundred percent. Yeah, they're supposed uh, to be sick. Badass. It's weird. Jay was telling me about these. Really? Yeah. But it sucks that they, they don't do it here. You but I'm guessing guy? if you have yeah. enough money, you can you import yeah. it. What do you drive? Uh, I have a Model X. Um, I have an Aston Martin. Um, I've got... Which Aston Martin? Uh, DB11. Love them. Uh, I have a um, truck. Got a you know, 25, uh, Ram 2500. Sick. A, Diesel. Yep. Cummings. Yep. Nice. FJ62. Oh, damn, dude. Uh, now nah, he's a car guy. Yeah. yeah I, it's, it, it, it got bad. I had to scale it back. Me too. Yeah. I just revamped it, but yeah. Yeah, anyway. cars and guns. That's in my collections. Guns too. Yeah, a lot of guns. Dude, we're the same guy. There we go. Nice. We're the same guy. <laughs> yeah. Nice. The Jack is a guy. closet conservative. Yeah, it's, I, yeah. yeah it's a, there's a you know there's a there's a angry libertarian running around in my heart somewhere. Love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love you. Yeah. Love you. Just, just leave me alone. Yeah. Yeah. That's why. Leave, leave me alone. alone. Just leave me alone. Yeah. That's yeah. It. Don't tell me what to. Don't do. make me. Yeah. yeah. Agree. That's why you're in Idaho. Exactly. Fucking. I wish we were out there. Man, I want to be best friends. We're going to hang out. We can hang, dude. Always. Let's Jack, do it. it's Brian again. Listen, I'm outside your house. Uh, <laughs> you, you, you barred the tent from your, your buddy. Jack, I get a few <laughs> bottles of wines for you. That I, <laughs> <laughs> I have these machetes, but it's fine. <laughs> well, Jack, we appreciate you, dude. Go watch his show. Yeah. yeah what, it, when, it, I, I saw it last night. When's it? Uh, Sundays uh, at 10 p.m. on Travel Channel, or you can watch it on uh, Max. Or uh, Discovery Plus. Yeah, Are you going to call show. like famous friends of yours to make guest appearances? Yes, yeah. So like um, Jenny McCarthy did an episode, and then Jamie Jason, Kennedy, Jamie Kennedy, Jason Mewes. Love, love Jamie. Yeah. yeah, we were just with him at Skankfest. I just ran into. I didn't him. see oh, him. Nice. Yeah, I didn't I saw see him. him there. Everybody was. Yeah, there. What was Skankfest? I saw it all over the internet. Skankfest. Like, it's like uh, these guys, Legion of Skanks, put it together. It's like Big J Orkerson, um, Louis Gomez, Dave Smith. It's just like a big comedy festival. Oh, cool. Yeah, Imagine so like Lollapalooza, but comedy. Oh, nice. Yeah. Very cool. Tim Dillon was there. So it was funny. Tim yeah. there too? Everybody was there. Damn. Tim Dillon was there, yeah. Chris Stefano, Norman, Norman ah. Joe Stefano List. was there too. Everybody yeah. was there. Wow. Yeah, you didn't hang around. Well, because you got in so late, but yeah. I was there from one to what God knows what time. It was so much fun. Yeah. Seeing everybody. That's great. Uh, I will be in Iowa October 13th, 14th. That's one show Friday, one show Saturday. Then Niagara Falls almost sold out. One show Friday, one show Saturday, November 4th and 5th. Bunch of other dates coming up on there. And then the the transformation of my TRX that went to Overkill in Sacramento. That All that content's coming out soon. So stay tuned, fellas. 
Uh, I, I'm not ladies. souping up. I'm not souping up my my Tesla three. I'm not doing that. Mm. But I will be at the Comedy Zone, Greensboro, North Carolina, October sixth and seventh this Friday, Saturday, and then Ooh, Daddy's good proud. nights. Good nights, November nine, ten, and eleven. Ooh. In the meantime, we'll see you in a little bit, kids. Ooh, Jack, appreciate you, brother. Hey, thank you. Thanks for having me, Jack. Jack, that was awesome. Go watch your podcast, the Osbournes, and you have the Paranormal Zone. podcast too. So, yeah. Jack, thanks, brother. Yeah.